are we all doing today? I want to believe you are doing great and that you've experienced God's goodness throughout the week and uh, you have good testimonies of all the blessings that the Lord has given you this week. I want to believe that it's gone well with you. The Bible says that say unto the righteous, it shall be well with him. Those who look up unto the Lord, the Bible says, are like Mount Zion, they shall not be moved. Psalm 34 says that they looked up to him and they were lightened and their faces were never ashamed. Hello, <laughs> man. God bless you. God bless you. First to come and Zilla. God bless you. Right on time. Aminata, God bless you. Ati Jemima, God bless you. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening to every one of you. Good evening. Or good morning. Good afternoon. Good night. Wherever you are uh, joining us from. Please, we'll be grateful to know which nation you are representing today. If you can let us know, we'll be more than happy. It's it's nothing is so beautiful to see that different joy. God bless you. You know that different nations are joining us to fight for marriage, to fight for marital stability and marital sweetness. God bless you, Rosaline. God bless everyone. If I miss your comment, it's not intentional when a thing keeps running. Auntie Jemima is from Woolwich in the UK. God bless you. Rep your country. Rep your country. Rep your country. Donna, this awesome ministry. Love it. God bless you, Donna Morris. God bless everyone. If I miss your comment, it's not intentional. Forgive me, but keep them coming. Let's get the names. Let's get the nations running now. Let's do international roll call. International roll call. Twambi, Kuyini, God bless you. If you're my, God bless you. God bless you. Hello. Jamaica, Jamaica. Dela Maris. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Jamaica, Jamaica. God bless you. Elizabeth, God bless you. God bless you. Did I miss Noni from South Africa? Oh, where where was that? Sorry, I missed it. And um, Alright, okay. Noni, South Africa. Uh no no, okay. Noni, South Noni. South Africa. If you me, Oxfordshire, Rida, England, Berkshire, God bless you, Slav. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Finland, Mamdora, Finland, God bless you. International roll call ongoing. England, Kent, Joy Samuel, you are not far from me. I'm in Kent also in England. God bless you. God bless you. International roll call. Guyana. Powerful. Powerful. Agnes. Zambia. Kavita. Guyana. Awesome. Awesome. Canada. Alberta. Kweja. Canada. Awesome. Uzoma. UK. God bless you. France. Avril. Williams. France. Beautiful. Beautiful. God bless all these nations. Italy. Italy. Maulawi. God bless you. God bless you. Italy. Good, God bless. USA, Aminata, USA. Mm -hmm. Canada, Canada, Esther. God bless you. Zambia, Catherine. Awesome, 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 awesome. Jamaica, Jamaica. <laughs> I love that country. God bless you. Kenya, Kenya. God bless Jumoke from Kenya. Ghana, Bendem. God bless you. Uh, Nigeria, Nigeria, Rita. God bless you so much. And Henrietta from Ghana, Rita from Nigeria, Charlene from Netherlands. Netherlands, God bless you so much. Dora from Ghana, Malawi, Tuambi from Malawi. Beautiful, beautiful. Gabon, Elizabeth Barra, Gabon. South Africa, Ajoa, God bless you. France, Avril, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Ama Asante, God bless you. God bless everyone. God bless. Are we done with international roll call? Are we done with international roll call? God bless everyone. God, if we haven't repped your country, please come on quickly. If we haven't repped your country. And whilst we're doing that, we are sharing also. Winston from Ghana. Germany. Germany. Ish Lebedish. Ghana. Wilhelmina. God bless. Who was from Germany? Uh, Wilhelmina, yeah. And then uh, Mariamma from UK. God bless you. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, Rosemary. Rep your country. Rep your country. Rep your country. God bless you. International roll call. International roll call. And you are sharing as well, please. Let's share. Put into a watch party. Invite friends. Lagos, Nigeria. Blessed country. 
God bless you, Rita. God bless, God bless you, Nigeria again. Uh, Bumilofe. God bless you, Esther, Nigeria. God bless you. Let's share. Let's share the broadcast. Let's invite friends. Let's put it into groups we belong to. Let's put it into watch parties. USA, Rosemary, Nyamiche, God, Liberia. Yes, I was waiting for Liberia. Tane, Tane Yenka, Liberia. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Germany, uh, Mami, Tima, Dennis. God bless you so much. God bless you. Netherlands, Charlene, God bless you. South Africa, Mary, God bless you. USA, Adama, Cargo, God bless you. God bless you. So we thank God. We thank God so much for his grace and for his mercies uh, uh, upon our lives. Uh, Trumby says, I'm so proud of you, my Benedict pastors. You are loved. Spain. Oh, thank you so much. Benedict from Spain, Espana. God bless you. Rebecca, South Africa, Yemi, Ghana, Cordelia, USA, Botswana. Yes, I haven't seen Botswana today. God bless uh, Matthias Gabs from Botswana, Liberia again. Awesome, 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 awesome. We give God all the praise. We give God all the thanks and all the adorations. God is good. God is good and his mercies endure forever. Uh, Teresa from Ghana. Beautiful, beautiful. So let's share, let's share, let's share. While the international roll call keeps running, let's share, let's share. We don't have enough shares so far. So everybody click on your share button. Click on your share button. Uh, uh, more grace. Thank you, Lucky. Thank you so much. Let's share, let's invite friends. And if you haven't repped your country, please mention it quickly so we can rep. Ghana, God bless you. God bless you, Teresa. God bless Ghana. God bless every country that is represented here uh, uh, on on uh, the broadcast. And God bless you and your homes. God bless your families. Oh. And as I was okay. saying, sorry. The Marie School WhatsApp platform. Oh, Pastor Trayson says that they cannot see our face. Ask if they can see our face. Uh, okay. All right. Somebody was saying they couldn't see our faces. If you can see our faces, please let us know. Sarah from Italy. Pastor Trey, my brother. God bless you. Covenant brother, man of God. God bless you so much. Sarah from Italy. Please, if you can see our faces, let us know you can see us. We have one ugly one and one beautiful one. So let's just see if you can see our faces. Then we will see, uh, obviously, the beautiful one. <laughs> Shared, Elizabeth, God bless you. God bless you. Justicia, God bless you. God bless you. Manchester, UK, George, uh, Prempe. God, you can see us. Good. So somebody said they couldn't see us. That person should check their phones. Well, Zambia, God bless you. Uh, Mopelwa, uh, God bless you. God bless you. God bless Zambia. God bless uh, all the nations represented here. And I was saying uh, earlier on that uh, I trust that your week has been good. God has helped you. God has blessed you. And in everything, the Bible says we should give thanks unto God. Okay. So the things that God has done for you this week that has been good, let's thank him for it. But the things also that have been challenging. The Bible says that uh, uh, David said, Yet though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil because you are with me. So even if it has been a challenging week, know that God is with you and that all things will work together for the good of those who love God and are the called according to his purposes. Even the difficult things you've gone through, I'm telling you as a servant of God that God will turn it around for your good. Don't be afraid. Don't look back. Don't, don't panic. It will all turn out for your good. Just hold on to God. Keep your focus. Keep trusting Him. Keep hoping, and everything will be well. Everything will be well. Don't don't give up. Don't get sad. Don't get discouraged. Don't beat yourself. There's nothing wrong with you. It's not like there's anything wrong with you. No, keep. It's part of the journey. Sometimes the journey will be tough. Sometimes the journey will be rough. Sometimes we go through turbulences. Sometimes we go through potholes in the journey. But in all, through it all, God is going to help you. God is going to strengthen you. God is going to help hold your hand. God is going to bring you to the right place so fight on fight for your marriage fight for your wife fight for your husband fight for your children fight for everything that is worth fighting for no matter the storms no matter the challenges everything is going to be all right everything is going to be all right sorry mommy what did you say Austria. Austria. We have Austria. God bless you. 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 Yes, 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 Donna, Maurice. That is very, very true. So let's press on. Let's fight on. Let's fight for our homes. Let's fight for our marriages. Let's fight for our children. God will not abandon us. God will not disappoint us. Everything is going to work out well, okay? So we bless God. We thank God so much. Right, so we've been looking at uh, marital... Uh, sexual satisfaction in marriage 
sexual satisfaction in marriage. Maybe I should have Let's asked. Read a quick question. Okay. So I'm being saying I'm always inspired with the broadcast, and it has made me a better person. Love, love, and love for my love. Thank you. That is all the reason why we are here. We want to make better wives. We want to make better husbands. We want to make better marriages so that we can have better children and we have better nations, better churches. Dallas, Texas, Eddie. God bless you. God bless. So that is all the reason why we are doing this, and we thank you for these good testimonies. Today we have heard about three or so good testimonies of people who are telling us that this broadcast is helping them or these broadcasts are helping them, making their marriages better, making their lives better. That is all the reason why we do what we do. So we are grateful. We are grateful. Those of you who support us, who, are, who have clicked on the green button and you are supporting us, God bless you. You make the work easier. God bless you. Those of you who have not yet supported, you can also click on the support button and then be supporters. Let's take this thing far. When the virus is over, we will be online, but we will also start doing uh, uh, physical ones in various nations. So strengthen our hands. Those of you who are not supporters yet, help <laughs> us, support us. It's very, very small. It's just change that you use to support. So it will be a blessing. It will be a blessing. Okay. Let me look at Joseph's comment. Joe and Joe, class has started. Class has started. Yes, please. <laughs> invite your wives. Invite your husbands. Class is starting now. Your church friends, your church colleagues, those in the choir, go, those in the prayer warrior, everybody, invite them all. Tell them all to come. That class is starting now. Class and is starting. So, And we need more shares. Please share it for us. Share it for us. You don't lose anything. Share and also be a supporter put it into watch parties put it into groups and uh, let's 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 get started and so let's let's pray and then we 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 can start but i didn't ask those of you who are married how is your sex life going nanaya how class captain is here class captain is here then class can start <laughs> once nanaya class captain is here class can start and then and then uh, class coordinator to am i am i your boy so he's already been on so definitely class can start <laughs> present madam <laughs> powerful powerful zambia god bless you max God bless Zambia. So call your friends, call your brothers, call your sisters, call everyone. Let's get started. And I was asking those of you who are married, how has sex been this week? Has it been bomb, bombastic, or has it been dull and dry? Sometimes there are uh, uh, not too exciting times, but on the average, it should always be exciting. So uh, you have to report back if it has been great. I've been hearing a few testimonies this week of how people have been really having a powerful time. Those of you who are not married yet, we are still praying for you and we are trusting God that the Lord will open doors for you. And one day, uh, if you can't hear, please check your head, your, your handset because I think other people can hear us. Habila is saying she's also a testifier. This program touched let me look at this program touched my life and transformed and saved my marriage my husband can testify he's also happier we bless god god bless you god bless your husband god bless you uh joan joe uh i don't i i'm not sure if you're talking to me but i can't understand what you've written so uh if it's for somebody else no joan, no, no joan joe was called to come to class okay 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 started. all right great 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 awesome awesome so i uh, i want to believe that uh, uh is also saying sound sound maybe check your headset because other people your your your, your handset because other people can hear us okay so uh uh habila is saying that intimacy has been terrific wow powerful <laughs> powerful that's what i want to hear bombastic fantastic yes yes please it is not a sin it is god's ordained program that we should have powerful time okay okay that god god wants us to have powerful time in our marriages so that we will avoid fornication and will avoid adultery if if gets if it gets boring in the marriage we end up going for adultery which god doesn't want so let's hammer it in the marriage let's have it powerful in the marriage let's enjoy it wild in the marriage go for everything you can go for inside the marriage so that you don't need to go out for anything that displeases God. It God is happy when you are doing it as a husband and wife. God Himself is standing there clapping for you and cheering you on. So please go on and enjoy it in your marriages. Do it great, and God is happy with you. God is happy with all of you who have had excellent bombastic encounters this week. I'm telling you, you have an extra crown in heaven when you get to heaven. You have extra crown for making God happy. So that's powerful. That's powerful. All right, we will pray and then we will start. I haven't uh, welcomed mommy as well. Uh, my better half, how has your sex life been this week? So, so. 
obviously because I was I, I've been away every month by the grace of God every month I have to go out and, and just go and spend time with God and go and spend time in prayer so uh, I do that once a month one week out that I, I'm away right so uh, am I aware say that we are having more sex that's powerful have more eh? have more have more so this week has been a bit but I'm back I'm back so duty I've resumed duty <laughs> <laughs> I'm back. I've come to resume duty, and so uh, you will hear more powerful testimonies. All right, okay. <laughs> so we bless God. <clears throat> and, and generally, how are you? You bring greetings before we. Hello, we pray everyone. And start. God bless you. I a special greetings to every one of you. It's always, always a privilege and a pleasure to come your way. Yeah. We never take it for granted. Mm. God bless you for always making time. I mean, with us on this broadcast, and mm. I want to believe that your week has been good. Mm. And on the marriage WhatsApp, all the great, great testimonies coming on that God bless you all yeah. is awesome. And for every one of you here, it's awesome to have you. So please grab a cup of tea or grab some healthy juice, like I have done. Sit down and let's have a beautiful time. God bless you. Amen, amen, amen. amen. Awesome, awesome. If you don't belong to the WhatsApp group and you want to be part of it, uh just uh the number will be put up and then you can you can message the number with your number and your name and ask request specifically that you want to be put on the whatsapp group then we'll put you on there okay just a basic mentoring system we are there we encourage people we direct if people have questions we give it to them so if you want to be part of the whatsapp group by all means then the number is actually on the page on this uh, broadcast page but it will be put on there if somebody has it you can put it there when you send us a message on whatsapp and you request with your name that you want to be added we will add you on okay those of you who are not supporters become supporters let us pray father we thank you for your goodness and your message throughout this week and uh thank you for the lives that are being touched on this broadcast thank you for the marriages that are getting better and father we pray uh, humbling ourselves before you that you will lead us today give us utterance give us wisdom help us O oh lord let your anointing be strong let marriages be restored marriages that the devil had planned to destroy let them be saved today in the name of jesus christ lord and we pray that your favor will be released through this broadcast those who are trusting you for husbands and for wives lord will make way for them in the name of jesus if anybody is sick let them be healed on this broadcast if anybody's going through any challenge finance whatever lord let a miracle happen to them on this broadcast in the the name of jesus christ we give you thanks if anybody's not saved lord let them meet jesus on this broadcast in the name of jesus if anybody's marriage the sex life in the marriage is not going well father let them receive sexual healing in their marriage today on this broadcast and we thank you we bless your name in jesus name amen amen amen, amen. hallelujah we bless god we bless god so um Last week, we looked uh, quickly at um, some of the things that will help you have a very uh, uh, satisfying sex life. Things that help your sex life to do better okay things that you must avoid that if, if you if you if you avoid certain things it will make the life better if you do cert uh, certain things as well it makes sex better in the marriage one thing you have to understand that god created sex god is not against sex god created sex to be enjoyed inside marriage and god wants us to have very very powerful sex times in our marriages so that we don't have to desire to go outside to do anything another thing you have to understand is that your wife is a very beautiful woman and your husband is a very powerful man all we need is more wisdom to be able to organize ourselves to do things in such a way that uh, uh, we can enjoy what we have we are commanded in the book of Proverbs to drink water out of our own system not to go out not to go and take anything that doesn't belong to us if you dress it well you can enjoy it. If you water your garden well, it will be green enough for you to enjoy it. So this broadcast here is to help you water your garden, is to help you, empower you so that you, you can focus and do all that you need to do so your marriage will be the best, so your wife will look like the best woman for you, your husband will be like the best man for you so that you can enjoy God's best in your marriage, okay? So we said that make sure that the foundation for the marriage is love. 
and that you you work hard love doesn't just happen automatically love is work you work every day to make love increase in the marriage you work consciously to increase the love you have for your husband you work consciously to increase the love you have for your wife it doesn't happen automatically satan will always try to fight the love in the home satan will always try to fight so that your wife will begin to look like a witch to you satan will always try to fight so that your husband will, be, will begin to look like an idiot for you so you have to keep on fighting in order to maintain the love you have for your wife in order to maintain the love and the respect you have for your husband it is a war you have to fight misunderstandings will come you have to learn to rise above them and overcome them uh, your husband will mess up your wife will mess up you have to try and overcome those things quickly and retain them reposition them at the place of honor and the place of respect so that you can always have the best of them so you have to maintain a strong love as a foundation for the marriage and then you have to genuinely work to attract each other improve on your appearance improve on your image improve on your dressing improve on the way you talk improve on everything about you okay make yourself attractive so that your husband will always desire you make yourself attractive so that your wife will always desire you it's not only women who should make themselves attractive men must also make themselves attractive no woman wants to sleep with an ugly man i know we used to have a saying that a man must be ugly and fearful or fearful and ugly but that thing is long past women also want men who are at least presentable so if you're a man take your bath properly shave don't leave your hair and your beard all over the place right a, a, a dress well wear decent clothing and all that so that your wife will be attracted to you more than the other guy at the office okay so attract each other work on your appearance be romantic with each other the way you talk with each other the way you hold each other the way you touch each other go on dating take advantage just go for strolls evening walks walk on the beach go and help some old person together do things that are out of your normal routines and then develop a forgiving heart always make, practice advanced forgiveness and no matter what my wife will do okay Okay. No, 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 please. You don't need to put your number here for your own safety, okay? Uh, Kapila, patience, for your own safety. And everybody, please don't put your number on the broadcast because a stranger can call you. We don't know who will call you, right? So you, our number will be put up there. And then when our number is put up there, you WhatsApp that number with your number. But don't put it here for your own safety, okay? God bless you. If, if anybody knows the, if anybody knows the, whatsapp group number class captains and 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 those if you have the whatsapp number put it there so that they will message the whatsapp number directly but don't put it out here for your own safety okay all right so develop advanced forgiveness don't keep bitterness in your heart don't keep bitterness in your heart the things your husband did against you the things your wife did against you let them go let them go don't forget that in this life we don't have too much time to waste don't spend too much time being bitter don't spend too much time being angry because because your 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 time is passing we have maybe 90 80 years 90 years that the lord will give us here if you are blessed you go up to 120 okay make sure that satan doesn't take any of those days away from you the days that you have on earth make sure satan doesn't take any of those days away from you through bitterness that you are there the whole day you are gloomy because you are angry because you are fighting because you have chosen not to forgive your wife not to forgive your husband and your face is all squeezed all day when they talk to you you don't respond you don't mind because you are angry you are wasting time we don't have time it's like playing football match you have only 90 minutes and you want to win the match and you are kicking the ball about you are losing and you have to win in order to qualify and you are kicking the ball about wasting time no then everybody will be shouting at you that you are not wise but that is what we do in our marriages yes thank you thank you thank you sister vicky so the whatsapp number has been put up vicky aqua has put the whatsapp number there so message nanaya Afol has also put the whatsapp number there thank you very much so this is the whatsapp number please message the whatsapp number directly message your whatsapp number directly that you want to be put on on the group okay uh okay great okay so uh, everybody will be shouting at you that you are a foolish player why is it that we don't have time we are losing the match we have to win and you are kicking the ball outside but that is what we do in our marriages when we are offended we block time we allow satan to take so much time the time that we should be enjoying each other the time that we should be doing great things with each other satan just Talk to, uh, holds that, that time down and we are there wasting it, letting it go away. Meanwhile, our life is passing by. So practice 
quick forgiveness. The offenses will come. Look, even if you are married to an angel, offenses will come. Because we don't all think the same all the time. Offenses will come. But when the offenses come, learn to forgive quickly so you can go back to enjoyment. Okay? And then another thing that will help you have good sex is avoid criticisms. Nobody is perfect. Nobody has a perfect body, perfect mind, comes from a perfect background, whatever. Everybody has something that is not really right at one time or the other. Okay? So if you are going to let Satan hire you, and you go constantly, hey, look at your legs. Your legs are ugly. Your hand is ugly. Look at your big stomach. Look at your small breast. Look at your big nose. Look at your your your, your Chinese eye and all that. You will, <laughs> <laughs> you will ruin the joy in the marriage. You will ruin the beauty of the marriage. Your wife will have something that is not too perfect on her body. You, as a man, you also have something that is not too perfect on your body. We are all imperfect human beings that we have been brought together by the grace of God. So let us avoid focusing on the downside. Your husband's hair is gone. He's become bald-headed. Fine. That is who he is. Your legs, your your, your, your wife's uh, 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 eyes are going one way or the other. That is what she is. Forget about that. Look at the beautiful side because every human being also has a beautiful side. So it is Satan that will enter you and cause you to look at the negative side of the, your husband or your wife. But when the Holy Spirit fills your heart, he will lead you to look at the positive, the positive side of your husband and your wife. And so look, keep looking at the good things you see in your wife. Keep looking at the good things you see in your husband and, and highlight that. Talk about that all the time. The more you talk about the good things about your wife or your husband, it makes you even forget about the things that are not too good. Okay, and when you know that you are sleeping with a, a powerful man or a wonderful woman, oh, it becomes more enjoyable. You know, God is so wise that when it comes to these private organs and things and vaginas and all those things, there's no much difference. Oh, there's no much, it is all the same, but the quality of the enjoyment a lot of the times is determined by how you value the person who carries that vagina or who carries that penis that you are sleeping with. You understand what I'm saying? I'm just trying to speak in plain terms. The God is wise that he creates the, the, the vagina and the penis are almost all about the same. Very little differences, okay? But the ability to enjoy it is determined by how you respect and honor the person who has brought you that vagina that you are going to enjoy or the person who has brought you that penis that you are going to enjoy. How you value them, how you respect them, how you cherish them, how you see them to be beautiful and powerful now affects how you enjoy the thing. Okay? So don't let Satan mislead you and to destroy. Always see your husband as powerful. See your wife as powerful. And all of a sudden, oh, the thing will become A class. It will become... Look, your wife's own, it's, it's as good as the first lady's own is as powerful. Your husband's own is as powerful as the president's. Look, it's powerful. What you have is powerful. It's awesome. Just have a good honor for the person carrying it. And every other thing will fall in place. you see that you begin to enjoy. So develop a, 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 um, positivity. Avoid criticisms. Avoid criticisms and, and insults and nagging. When things don't go well, don't always be negative, 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 negative. Okay? Don't know. Overlook it quickly. If things need correcting, by all means, correct them and then quickly go on and then do what needs to be doing. Okay, quick question, All right, quick I question. All right. Um, Pastor, how do I avoid boredom in my? My husband doesn't satisfy me in bed. Your husband doesn't satisfy you in bed and you are bored in the marriage. So it's two things. Is it that you are bored in bed or you are literally bored in the marriage itself? Because when there is boredom in marriage, it means that there is no friendship, not enough friendship, not enough communication, not enough excitement. So work on communication, develop friendship, bond more with each other, do a lot of activities together and the excitement will start coming and it will affect the sex life. If your husband is not satisfying you in bed, there could be so many reasons why you are not being satisfied in bed. Is there anything on your mind? Are you worried? You don't feel loved enough in the marriage? Is it that your husband is ejaculating too quickly so that he doesn't wait for you to also reach orgasm before he ejaculates? Is it that your husband doesn't do it with, with affection? He just comes and uses you as a sex toy or does he honor you and respect you as a person and is are you doing it interactively or you are doing it mechanically okay you can do mechanical sex you will not enjoy it you will not you will not be fulfilled especially as a woman a 
man can do mechan mechanical sex and be okay. But women never get proper satisfaction when they have mechanical sex. You just put a penis in, do ejaculate and get up. No, it doesn't work like that. A woman wants interactive sex. A woman wants to be... A woman doesn't have sex with just her vagina. A woman has sex with her entire body. She wants her entire body to be loved. She wants you to touch every part. She wants you to kiss every part. She wants you to talk to her. She wants you to massage her, hold her, cherish her throughout the entire process. And also give her time and help her to come up and to reach where she's supposed to get to. All right? So women don't do mechanical sex. They do uh, uh, interactive sex. If uh, the husband is not giving you interactive sex, it could be one of the reasons why you are not being satisfied. There could be so many reasons so i cannot just sit here and quickly diagnose how your husband can get you satisfied maybe you can message us after the broadcast and then we can have time to really diagnose exactly what the problem could be all right okay so uh, uh, uh god bless you let me uh where am i now yeah look for great things about your spouse acquire good knowledge yeah, she said it, that he has a small genital and isn't willing to learn new things right okay 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 so that could be the problem then uh you need to sit him down and talk with him sometimes ego men have ego okay men have ego so he doesn't want to be told that he is not uh, meeting the quota but you have to master courage and be bold and talk to him make sure you don't talk down on him because when you talk if you if you're going to tell him that you, your, your penis is too small no, no, you're going to break his confidence so don't do that but talk to him in a more honorable way as to how uh, uh, um, you can have better sex how you can enjoy things in a better way so talk to him with more understanding with more love and let you know you see a small penis should not be a problem so far as it is not smaller than two inches if your 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 your, your husband's penis is not smaller than this and he's willing to learn he can still do so much with it okay micro penis uh, uh, if it's below this it's called micro micro penis that one is is a, you need medical help but anything bigger than this if he's willing to work he is most likely to have a good time with you and help you make you uh, enjoy sex well mm -hmm. so he should be willing to talk okay please yeah um could you please message us because she's responded that anytime she tells her husband that they should try new things. Her husband says she's a spoiled woman. No, 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 no. That's not good. But and you see, this is why I am a pastor and I'm a holiness pastor, right? I believe in serious holiness. And that is why I am doing this thing. Look, Christian brothers, it is not a sin when your wife wants you to try new things that will give her more satisfaction. Women are complex. You cannot just keep one way, one style. Even if it is one style helped her, she always wants something new. She always wants it more. So please, break off from that thing. Let me remove this thing from here. It, it, it's, uh, I struggle it to see. It is a number that they want to. All right, okay. All right, but it, it, it gives me very, very little uh, view the vision to see what comments are coming on all right okay so uh, uh please try and um uh, uh, talk about things brothers don't get don't get to uh, look you are cheating your woman if you think that just inserting it banging away and ejaculating is sex you are not having sex you are just using her it's not right it is not fair it is not right it is not fair don't do that don't do that. Okay, you leave it there. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Take time. Listen to your wife. The quality of sex in a marriage is determined by the wife. So listen to her. Listen to her. Let her tell you exactly what she wants. Let her tell you how she wants things done. Let her tell you where she's satisfied, where she's not satisfied. And ask questions and let her lead you so that you can satisfy her. If your wife is not happy sexually, you have failed as a man. You, you are failed. As a man, your wife should be clapping for you and shouting for joy in the in the in the mornings because of great things that you have done. Mm? Your wife should wake up in the morning and shout to God be the glory, great things he has done. That is what a man should expect. But you, you can just keep quiet and just sit there and uh, you say that she's spoiled if, if she needs uh, extra work. So men, big up, big up, big up, big up, rise up, rise up. All right. Okay. Okay. So Pastor Chris is saying that it means that her husband must be part of this broadcast. Yeah. She should not leave the husband out of the program. Let the husband be part of the program so that together you can both overcome any difficulties. Yeah. Yeah. Very true. Very true. All right, mommy, would you want to? I've, I've been talking for too long. So you too. Yeah. 
uh, carry on. Okay, so one thing you also have to do is to determine aqua quality knowledge. <laughs> determine aqua quality knowledge. Yeah. No, no, not determine aqua quality. <laughs> aqua quality knowledge about the human body. Okay, mm -hmm. if you don't know the use of something, you are likely to abuse it. Yeah. So it's very important that you know exactly. The human body is very, very complex. Mm -hmm. It's very complex, and it can give you some some kind of excitement you have no idea of mm -hmm. when you know how to use it. Yeah. The Bible says that for lack of knowledge, my people perish. Yeah. Even in the area of intimacy, if you don't know how how to use um, each other's body properly yeah. to to benefit you. I mean mm -hmm. each other. Mm -hmm. it, you, you will not enjoy it. Yeah. It will be frustrating. It doesn't matter what they have. It doesn't mm -hmm. matter their size. It doesn't matter how it looks like. Yeah. The most important thing is being able to know how to use it. Yeah. Knowing how to use it properly, mm -hmm. and you can only know how to use something when you acquire knowledge about yeah. the thing. So let's say this is a mouse. I acquire a huge amount of knowledge about it. I'm able to use it to my advantage. I'm mm -hmm. able to use it well. Yeah. So make sure that you understand each other's body. Yeah. Wife, learn your husband's body. Husband, learn your wife's body. Mm -hmm. Learn what works for each other. Learn the health issues. Mm -hmm. Know that when your husband is feeling this way, he will react this way or his erection will be that way. And know also that when your wife is, I mean, going through any... um hormonal changes these are the things that will happen yeah. so that you don't expect the impossible yeah. but rather you know how to excel even in any situation you find yourself in mm. so that's what we said also determine exactly what you want mm -hmm. you can't you can't generalize things in sex mm -hmm. you have to be specific no, i didn't enjoy it no i didn't enjoy it Why what do you mean by didn't enjoy it what do you want what do you want me to do for you so that you can enjoy uh -huh. yeah carry on you have to be very very specific yeah. and say exactly what you want determine exactly what you want mm -hmm. and it's not enough to say what you want in your head yeah we are not magicians say it out loud okay mm -hmm. let it come out so that shout hold my breast suck my breast shout it let your husband know exactly what you want sorry sorry forgive me carry on you can't say that i can't say that they say i can't say suck my breast or hold my breast or press my bum you I, they say i can't say that so carry on <laughs> see, so Amma, i haven't said it is saying, i haven't said suck Amma my breast saying you should not be confused on the breast she said she has already warned you ahead <laughs> <laughs> i haven't said suck my that the, the ladies tell your husband to suck your breast. i haven't said that I didn't say hold oh. my breast or hold my bum or do, I haven't said anything like that. That little is saying now she understands why somebody sings to God with the glory in the morning. Aha, Every morning. Yes. So say exactly what you want, determine exactly what you want. You can't mm -hmm. uh, you can't expect your spouse to assume that you want this to be done to you mm -hmm. or you want that to happen. It's important that even the Bible says that ask, say exactly what you want. Yeah, ask, God knows, God and knows it shall what be given we want. To you, yeah. God knows what we want. Yet he is telling us to ask yeah. so that we'll be specific in 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 in, in saying what we want mm -hmm. and also be very patient with your spouse mm -hmm. as they try to meet your need yeah. so somebody says i want this mm -hmm. be patient with them they may not know how to do your spouse may not know how to do what you want there and then yeah. they may have to learn it they may make the mistakes along the line mm -hmm. but be very patient they will not always get it right yeah. especially at the first time you want Maybe, your wife you want your wife to ride a horse and she, she hasn't been trained in horse riding. Eh? <laughs> she hasn't been trained in horse riding. So she sits on the horse, but she doesn't know how to get the horse to move. And you don't have to get angry. Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? Get up, get up. No, 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 no. You take your time, little by little. Then you help her gradually. It may take a long time, but eventually once she becomes an expert in horse riding, she will win all the races for you. <laughs> Aha, carry on. Yeah, so be patient with them. Be, be patient with them. Get them to give them some time to know it. And sometimes yeah. when they're getting it wrong, you can guide them also. Oh, this is how we, I yeah, want it. Yeah, move his hand quietly, quietly to the place. Why not move her hand? Why is it always his hand that should be moved, Pastor Derek? Sorry, please, move your <laughs> hands. Yeah. Move each other's hands where they want us to, where they want it to be. Mm -hmm. Also, give feedback if it is going very well. Learn to talk during intimacy, before intimacy, during intimacy. I've seen one thing. One thing we don't that we don't really decide that. Somebody says hold something. <laughs> hold something. <laughs> hold something. Hold the pen. Hold something. <laughs> we don't really decide that. Okay, we are going to have intimate moments or something, mm -hmm. but we just end up talking, and then yeah. whilst we are talking, that happens. Mm -hmm. Okay, so talk. Talk before, talk during, and talk after. Yeah, it's very important. It play, yeah, let let very, very whatever you are so you are feeling come out. Let whatever you want to say come out, so mm -hmm. that you will know what you are saying. Yeah. Don't be silent mm -hmm. during the act when you are reaching cloud nine. 
say I'm Stream. there. I'm, I'm at cloud nine. I'm seeing, I'm seeing angels, whatever you are. Hey, vicious. I'm seeing vicious. That's it. I'm seeing vicious. So during the ad talk, after the ad talk, especially when it really, really went very well, you want to let your husband know that today he was a Rambo. He was Jackie Chan. Cha, 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 he was cha, 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 cha. everything. And then you also want your woman to know that today she was a slave queen. You have been lasting after yeah. looking for every yeah. time. Yeah. Today she was doing the thing properly. So talk, give feedback. If something did not go well, be sensitive in the way you say it. Uh -huh. Because you could say it in a way that could just, I mean, take away the confidence of the mm -hmm. person mm -hmm. or the self-esteem of the person you are saying it to. Yeah. So yes, it didn't go really, really well. But you could say it in a nice way that maybe next time if we did it this way, mm -hmm. I'll prefer it rather than mm -hmm. what what do you think you would yeah, do? Yeah, so what is it that you <laughs> what, think you what, did what, what did you do? <laughs> I mean, it's what not nice. Boring. So please, let's give feedback. And let's also talk about how it is, whether it is going well or mm -hmm. not. Also, we said that be open to suggestions from your spouse. Be willing to try new things. Yeah. We are not talking about dangerous things that can hurt you or ruin your life or cause you problems. Mm -hmm. But new, maybe new things that you, you, you've heard us talk about on the on the broadcast. Yeah. New things like having an apron. New things like having a shower. Da, 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 your da, 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 bedroom da, 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 should be a very dynamic place. Yeah. Your bedroom should not Where be... Where are the equipment you've been mentioning? You because mentioned... they all know... <laughs> Okay. <laughs> the consistent ones know what they need in their bedroom. Yeah. Okay, to make it a lot more lively. Mm -hmm. So your your spouse says that today I want to try this. Today I want to try that. Yeah. Uh, please. Because allow you, them. Do you know what boredom kills sex. Last kill. I for says last <laughs> Boredom kills sex. If every day you are doing the same way, same thing. That you know that your white nighty, that your white gown, long gown like a, a Roman sister. And every night is the same thing you are wearing. And every time you lie down in the same position. And every time it's 9 or 5 p.m. That it has everything. It becomes boring. It becomes boring. So do have various things and have various creative mindsets that will make it exciting. It makes it exciting. Okay. So that is some of the things you was Yeah, can I just say something? So um Dennis is saying that, Madam, please tell those men to also stop being quiet during sex. We also need them to show us that they are enjoying it. Yeah, enjoying so us. the men who are quiet, please don't be quiet. Be screaming, be shouting. When you reach the freeway and you are hitting uh, 100 miles per hour, please scream, speed. I, I, I mean, I, I, I'm enjoying. When things are, are working well, please make sure that you are also giving live commentary how things are going. Okay, so it's Christiana good. Is also saying, but sometimes talking during the process can put some people out. It all depends. So it depends find, on what you are saying. What, find what works for each other. It also depends on what you are saying. If you are saying powerful things, hey, by all means, if, if the things you say to some of the things you can say one thing and then your husband will come at once uh, he it, it's true uh, some of the sayings uh, uh, i know somebody i know it's not me i know i know somebody she can say certain things that before you realize it's not your me, airplane will lose me. you lose both engines at once you have to land so the thing so let hey, everybody know that it's not me the oh yes it's that. some man i know back in my village <laughs> his wife <laughs> some man that and i know you hear what the back in says. my village the man came to tell me <laughs> his wife hey you, you can say some things <laughs> and before you realize you can't handle it anymore you have to learn you have to find a place you don't need an airport wherever you have reached you have to learn <laughs> so but it's powerful wife say wonderful things to your husband and husband to say wonderful because there are things you can tell your wife to that will also help her to orgasm a lot quicker there, there's okay. a question for um from dennis again and mm -hmm. um, what do you think about oral sex pastor oral sex this question has come up a few times like i said uh even kissing is part of oral sex right so there, there are levels if you're kissing it's fine so far as there's no infection there's no cold or anything that will uh, do cross uh, contamination or cross infection that that is fine when it comes to uh fellatio and conilingus which is sucking 
sucking of a man's uh, penis and the licking of a woman's vagina simultaneously. which simultaneously which others call 69 swazam nef right uh the bible is not really clear on it as to if you do this you have sinned it, there's no scripture that says that if you do that you have sinned okay there's no scripture that says if you do that you have sinned so you haven't sinned technically when you do that but it's often not advisable because of the possibility of picking up infections the possibility of picking up infections and uh, also uh, for some people they feel it's unsavory but if between you and your husband you are sure that there's no possibility of any infection and your conscience doesn't condemn you and you feel all right i will not condemn you because the scriptures do not say anything specifically that if you do that you have sinned i've read the bible cover to cover i i, I don't claim to know everything but still I, there's no scripture to back that I know some people concoct things out of things that the mouth you used to worship God, you cannot use it to do that. Okay, the mouth you used to preach. Somebody was saying last week that uh, uh, if you were a preacher, the mouth you used to preach, you cannot use that to do that to your wife. But that part is also connected to every... Your wife's body is one, okay? And the Bible says the two of you shall become one flesh. So any part of your wife's body is also part of your own body, okay? If I can kiss my wife, I can suck her breast, I can suck, suck her navel, I can, I can kiss her private part without any i i don't necessarily do that right I, I don't do exactly that but i kiss i kiss i kiss her private on the top i mean at the app like when everything is done Brothers and i'm kissing i'm kissing her body mm -hmm. thank you thank you thank you i just kiss okay <laughs> but it all depends on you what works best for you i'm not going to sit here and say if you do that you have sinned you are going to hell because it's not biblical neither am i going to say that go ahead and do that i leave that to your own discretion i leave that to your own discretion but don't let anybody tell you that oh the mouth that you used to sing to god or something if you used to touch this part of your wife's body then you have seen uh, or it is wrong because okay how about the hand the hand you used to hold the bible to read don't you sometimes put it under your wife how about that one does it take you to hell you just say want to hold the bible to read okay so this thing is neither here nor there let the spirit lead you let your wisdom lead you and then be fine there but i'm not going to tell you either left or right i won't, I won't okay so you. kwami is saying that screaming is good though the problem is if your next door neighbor in a rented house doesn't sleep early that is where it becomes a problem ah uh, yeah when it comes to knock and ask what is happening then tell him you're having a convention <laughs> <laughs> Tell you you're having a convention, special uh, end of year convention. <laughs> but it's amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. So yes, uh, that is what I would say about that one. Uh, and you were talking about some of the powerful... Uh, yeah, it depends on... I mean, it depends. we were talking about trying new things. That you need to try it. But remember that whatever you are trying is within the context of scripture yeah it's very important don't go and try three some and what's those things they used to tie bestiality you. and bondage they and tie you things. on the bed yeah, they are beating yeah. you and whipping you and biting you and all yeah those we'll things come things. we'll come to those in detail yeah. we'll come to those in detail <laughs> but be careful about about those things all right so we've talked about feedback we've talked about uh, the willingness to try New things. Uh, uh, new things and have we talked about no do not be over ambitious yeah okay? and don't set unachievable goals mm -hmm. just set goals within your limit goals that you can yeah. achieve don't go and watch some serious porn or whatever if light porn soft or whatever porn and then insist that your husband should do that to you yeah or your wife should do that to you and there are certain styles that would not be good for you look look at your your, your body your body your appearance your physique your physique that's it and there are certain things that will not work for you don't insist on your wife trying it because you've seen it somewhere or don't insist on your husband trying it because you've seen it somewhere mm -hmm. so do not be over ambitious and don't expect and um, don't set unachievable goals don't have today today you have to do six rounds how six yeah rounds? six rounds today now you know he went to work yesterday he's going to work again and he must do six rounds because your friend told you that her boyfriend or her husband does six rounds and you are killing somebody's son and this man is passing out and he can't before you realize you have to call ambulance okay so don't set unrealistic expectations you you had a former boyfriend who used to have a timber jack and then that has become a problem that your husband must also chew all the herbs in the well so that he can get the biggest penis in the world please don't kill somebody's son 
it's not what he has just as i am without one plea what he has is what he has brought okay it is what it is it is what it is so <laughs> allow him to it to, is what it to is. have what it is and then use wisdom to know how you can make the most of what you have mm. okay don't set unrealistic expectations you have six months to increase your penny size three times or else or else i'm leaving this marriage i can't take this one and the man is chewing herbs and he's, he's visiting every herbalist <laughs> chewing everything <laughs> and the thing is not getting bigger you, you, are, you know no don't do that <laughs> you will kill him you will make him drink poison don't do that enjoy what you have so don't have un 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 unnecessary uh, 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 ambitions and un un unachievable things. And then do not draw your desires from pornography and reprobate people, wicked people, unbelievers, Satan's uh, uh, nephews and, and nieces <laughs> who come and tell you, do this, try this. Have you tried this? I went this. I did this. No, please. Stay in your own lane and do what works for you and your husband. Do what works for you and your wife. Stay within your context. Stay within your comfort zone. Don't push yourself beyond limits. Now you have said, <laughs> yeah, don't don't do that. Don't do that. Okay. And then another thing, don't compare your spouse to other people. Don't compare yourself with each other. Don't compare your spouse with your former boyfriend. Don't compare your wife with your former girlfriend. We know your former girlfriend was able to do backward uh, uh, acrobatic and both her head and her knees, uh, her head and her feet will be standing on the ground at the same time so that you can have access to everything. Your wife is not like that. Your wife has not gone to gymnastic school. Allow her to be what she is. Train her in the things that she can do, but don't give her unnecessary pressure. Hey, hey, my, my former girl, Alice, Alice, if it were Alice, but now she'll be hanging on the ceiling fan, going Going round, 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 round for me. Look at you lying here, please. Your wife is Rita. She's not Alice. Don't <laughs> force her to do what she can't do. She can't kill herself. Okay, she can't kill herself. So don't compare. Don't compare. Don't compare your husband John to Dominic. We know Dominic used to have a real timber jack, but please, if if Dominic were any better, he would have stayed with you. He would have married you. He didn't marry you. Now, if if John has come to marry you, please accept what John is bringing to the table and just make him feel comfortable for what he is okay you don't compare yourselves with each other and then we also say that it will cost you a lot of money mm -hmm. it will cost you a lot of money and uh you, you want to say a bit okay, about it's that. going to cost you a lot of money we, we said that a hungry wife cannot twerk she cannot do anything for you the bed if she's hungry and also if she's angry okay mm -hmm. and when your husband is angry as well they can't do anything they i mean Nothing will happen. There'll be no show. Mm -hmm. So make sure that there's no hunger and there's no anger in the home. Mm -hmm. Make sure that the home is peaceful so that you can focus and have good sex. Yeah. And then also make sure that your wife's basic needs are met. Mm -hmm. Make sure that she, if she hasn't got clothes and you are telling her to go into the bed and be doing styles for you, you might end up with um, some words you don't want to hear at all. Mm -hmm. And spend money. Spend money on your wife. Mm -hmm. We said that men like to see. So let them see. Uh -huh. Men like to see things. Okay? We like to see you. Men like to see. So let them see. Whatever That's why every man buys television. <laughs> we like to see things. Whatever he wants to see, let him see. Mm -hmm. So he, probably he wants invest in your in, in lingeries for your wife. Mm -hmm. Your husband wants you to wear this Please, particular. lingeries. Ling oh, there are, there are so many types. Mention the wearing, different wearing, types. Wearing, they are they are the see throughs. They are the open ones. They are the whatever. what do you mean by open ones? <laughs> one that shows your breast. There are some that your breast. You are wearing breast, but your breast still there's a hole that your your breast, the front, the nipples and things come through. So you, you your husband can be sucking your breast whilst you're still wearing your breast. Pastor, pause, pause, right pause, 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 uh -huh. pause. There's a question. This is the question that we need to address it. Uh -huh. Pastor, what do you think about using sex toys in my example dildos? My husband keeps hiding my toys. Yet they give me pleasure. Hey, hmm. huh, that, it that, is a question. It is a question. <laughs> it is a question. I think that the 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 hmm, sex sexual pleasure in marriage must always be enjoyed mutually, and it has to be agreed. Yeah, it has to be mutually. So it, it should be the two of us pleasuring ourselves okay each other so sex toys are not advisable if we can have very good sex in our marriages it, i think that they tend to be and please i'm not trying to be judgmental forgive me if i sound like that but they become more uh, selfish that i'm just thinking about my pleasure what i will do 
to make me enjoy what I'm doing. I mean, enjoy myself, irrespective of how my husband feels. So it's not advisable and they can be addictive because you see, when it comes to normal sex, because you are doing it with another human being, you can have limits. If I'm tired, we can't do it. So you learn self-control, you attach self-control to it. But machine cannot tell you it's tired. When the battery runs out, all you need to do is to run to the shop, get another battery, put it in, and off you go. Okay. So it, it breeds addiction. It can make you addicted to 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 those pleasures which is also not good so so sex toys are not advisable especially for christians because we're also supposed to learn self-control and we are supposed to practice sex mutually you and i enjoying each other the only time where i would allow or i would say that sex toy may be permissible is if let's say for or, i mean uh, unfortunately let's say your husband has lost his erection health reasons for health reasons your husband can never have an erection doctors have tried everything has been tried erection cannot come then it will be acceptable that, okay you can have the sex toy but even that it will be nice if your husband is using it on you so that at least in a way he's also part of the show but if you are doing it alone and your husband is just left out on his own then it's not advisable it, it becomes selfish it's just like masturbating doing it to yourself without your spouse's involvement and that is not advisable for christians so that is what i will say for now that is what i will say for now. i don't know if you want to add anything if i'm if no, what no, i've said I think is okay that it's, it's yeah That's all right it. okay okay so your husband is right when he keeps hiding them he, he, he he's not comfortable so flow with him Flow with him. Allow him to hide them so that you can use his proper toy. Okay. Use his proper toy. All right. Okay. So. Yeah. So we've talked about spending money on your spouse. On yeah. Your we're talking about the brazier <laughs> that has the nipple open oh, so that you can day. suck through while she's still wearing it. <laughs> they have, they have uh, a whole, is it like a smidge with the pants all in it, but the pants, they've cut all the under, so she doesn't need to remove it. While she's still wearing it, you can still have operations going on. And, 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 and once with the navel and things open, you can, you see, different types, and then they have normal brother, normal pants, G strings, and other things that you can just draw aside, draw string, okay? You draw, and then you can fire. Invest in some of these things, and Samus, La Senza, uh, 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 and some of these, there are shops that sell this and you can get some online as well. Buy them, it will cost you money. Once a while, your wife wears some of the, and you are on cloud nine with her bow, uh, 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 what? Fascinator. Fascinator and high heels and things. Get an apron. If your wife just wears apron and her high heels, Cook in the bedroom. it's powerful. <laughs> get a stool. So that's not she will stoop on that stool and then you are firing you from also, behind. You can also get uh, a sofa. A, a, yeah. a cute sofa in the chair, yeah. I mean in your bed. It depends yeah. on how big your bedroom yeah. is. Yeah, if you have the space. A sofa in the bedroom is not bad at all. It's, it's also very, 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 it's a blessing. Mm -hmm. it's okay, a, Pastor, okay. I need to chip in. Uh, I, mean, yeah. I want to pick a few comments, please. Yeah, we are not so, picking comments. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, John is saying this program is wonderful. Then there was this lady who said that, okay, um, Omi says that seriously, this is my first time and I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying the program. God Somebody also you. said it's her first time and she thinks we should do... Um, Conferences. Yeah, we'll do now, conferences. Now, Joseph is saying that sex, sexual toys increase the risk of infection. Yeah. That's what he's they saying. They also and have that problem. Monique is saying that they are not biblical. Yeah. And Nana is saying that sexual satisfaction is mutual, but not always, which mm -hmm. is true. Sometimes you just have to satisfy your spouse. Yeah. Which is true. Yeah. Okay, so John is saying that they can be cleaned with disinfectant wipes. All right, okay. Well, it's between um, the two of them. And Rina is saying, so please, so one more <laughs> question. So is it okay? To use a so sex toy with your husband on the phone in a long distance marriage. Cha 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 cha. I will that's, not say no. A, that's a tricky question. I will not say no. Yeah, I will not say but, no. But Pastor, does your husband? Okay, I will not say let's no. Say, to that. Let's say if you are using the sex toy mm -hmm. with your husband on the phone, is your husband away? That yeah, you know, that's like, what I'm saying. I'm with my husband on the phone, so the husband is telling her things, and then she because maybe they are apart for whatever reason. So for that one, I wouldn't say it's a, I wouldn't say it's wrong. I mean, but you have to be careful because if you get addicted to it, even when your husband is on the phone, you go and plug it, Ping! and you are there, blending yourself. Okay, <laughs> so so you have to be very very. Sex sex toys can be very addictive, so please be careful. 
be very very careful be very very careful satan can easily use it to ruin your life hey pastor I'm, I'm seeing something yeah so vera is saying that some people say if a man chew the roots of coconut tree their mouth will grow bigger and then michelle is saying that in the caribbean he said that if you slap it on a papaya tree it will be blessed hey <laughs> you need to go to the caribbean <laughs> i have to go to the caribbean and go and slap <laughs> <laughs> but please be careful. Go ahead, don't go and chew anything and die, oh. because this coconut, uh, uh, what coconut root and all that. I don't know. I don't have any. But please, dear brothers, don't let anybody give you unnecessary pressure to go and chew something and die, or or before you realize your penis is actually it becomes big, but it doesn't work anymore, because the size of a penis, it, it, the penis is a very complex organ. There are veins that run through it. And for it to get an erection, the nerves are communicated with, and then blood is pumped into it to get it to, 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 to erect. But if you force it to grow bigger than how it, I mean, it should fit your body, because the body is designed to be able to work with it like that, right? With the original size you have. If you go and modify it, and now you, when the thing is, there's not enough blood pumping into it, or the nerves are not strong enough to strengthen it, before you realize you have a big penis that doesn't work. You can have a big, a very, very big penis that cannot erect, and that one would be, it will, it will, it will be worse. You would wish when you had the average size that was working. So please be careful. Or don't go and chew anything and then you, you faint and, and things like that. <laughs> you go and die. Don't do it. Okay, John okay. is saying, please, I'm soliciting that this program should be thoroughly taught in church programs because a lot of believers are dying in silence in this aspect of their marriage. That is very, very true. That, that is very, very true. We do go to churches. We do do it with a number of churches. So if you have a church, you want to talk to your pastor to invite us, we'll be more than happy to to come and help so monica is also saying that masturbation is a bad thing yes yeah. we talked about yeah. masturbation and we do not encourage it yeah it should not be done yeah mm -hmm. it's a long thing that deliverance is needed and all that yeah, yeah. so try your best not to be drawn into masturbation and sex toys lead to masturbation yeah. easily so be very very careful so please get lingeries get aprons get your your things various things you wear that will excite your husband so that you can and dear husband it's not the wife who should go and buy them you are the one who should go and buy if you and you shouldn't be shy to go i walk into lingerie shops and i buy lingeries for my wife because I'm the one who is going to enjoy it. Don't be shy. Don't be afraid. Don't even give the money to your wife to go and buy it herself. You go and buy and then surprise her with it. She comes home from work and the thing is laid on the bed. And you say, go and take a shower and then come and wear this. Let me see how you look in it. And before you realize, the whole house is shaking. Kutu, 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 kutu. Okay, so please. Right? And then we also mentioned invest in lighting. LED lighting that can change oh, colors. So this in week your room. we had a testimony. Was it this week or last, last week? Last week, yeah. A testimony about what lighting did to somebody. Hello, Dickens Stories. God bless mm -hmm. you. Right? Uh, okay. Look at you. Talk more about April. Which April? Hey, April. <laughs> I'll tell you the color of my April. Oh, you have an April, Master. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, so, all these wonderful things. We, we mentioned LED lighting to change the colors in the bedrooms. Get a quality bed. Don't get a bed that makes noise. Cree, cree, cree. A noisy bed ruins sexual excitement, okay? So get a bed that is quiet, right? Quality bed, uh, get books, invest in privacy. Somebody mentioned you don't want your neighbors to hear you. Yes. So then it, it will cost you money to make sure that you have sex in a place where neighbors cannot hear you. Uh, take your wife out, times of relaxation, restaurants and things like that. It helps a lot. Movie nights, date nights, uh, hotel trips every now and then, holidays. Invest money. You see... One reason why many African marriages are boring and and, 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 and and the women are literally just being used for the sex, but they themselves are not really enjoying things is because we don't budget some of our finances to spend on the quality of the marriage and the sex life inside the marriage. Maybe we, we will say we don't have enough money, but look, it's all about planning and budgeting. As you, you you know how much money is coming in. You're spending money on clothes, you spend money on rent, you spend money on food, spend money on put a particular percentage, even if it's one percent, put a particular amount of money on the side that we will spend this amount of money on our marriage itself. Because the better the marriage, the better every other thing becomes in the marriage. Okay, so dedicate money that you spend on your marriage 
on the sex in the marriage, on going to marital conferences, on going on holidays, on going for date nights. Put money aside just for the marriage so that your marriage will always be in form and on top. Don't let that be an afterthought. Have money for your marriage. Spend money on your marriage. It will help you. Let me pick a comment, you. Yeah. please. John is saying some Christians are also acting too holy and do not know how to be sexually attractive in the bedroom. Yeah. Some sisters don't know how to dress in the bedroom. Some will tie head, tie even inside the bedroom. You see? That yeah. is very, very true. There's a breed of Christianity that, that you see, it, it's not biblical. It goes beyond what the Bible is actually saying. They, they redefine holiness and they take it beyond what the Bible is saying. Okay? Because they just take portions of the Bible. But when you read the entire Bible, you get to understand that God is not angry with a married couple doing a lot of things with each other in, in a good way. God is happy with that. Pastor, I mean, John is very, he's saying something more that Christian sisters should be taught how to dress mm -hmm. in an attractive way way in their bedroom so as to limit brothers falling into temptations from delilahs outside and in their workplaces that is exactly what we are talking about that is exactly what we are talking about here that's why we are doing this program because we are pastors we we see this happening all the time where men are sleeping with people outside of their marriages because sex is boring inside their marriage and they that should not be the case are christians. yeah they and, are christians and, and some, of pastors. These, some of these christians are not doing it because they want to do it mm -hmm. they do it i mean regretting and feeling very sorry and yeah. sad and all that but some way somehow they find themselves because god put this desire in us god put this desire sexual desire in us for his own reason okay so it has to be satisfied and if we become overly holy and we don't apply wisdom to do what we need to do and we think we are holding ourselves, holding ourselves before you realize we go and do some terrible thing outside. Let me tell you a story. When, many years ago, I was, I think I was doing national service, yes. And there was this uh, uh, church around, I think I, I did my national service in, in, the, in the, their place. Deeper life, right? And you know how they dress and how they make themselves holy. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's a good thing to dress decently as a Christian woman. It's a good thing to do all these things. But you see, when, when you get into the bedroom, you can't carry the same thing there. And so there was a pastor, a deeper life pastor and his wife, always wearing all these things and all... Not knowing the man was not being satisfied because of this overholiness inside the marriage, inside the home. The next thing we heard, the man had gone to impregnate a young lady somewhere. Mm -hmm. The pastor, deeper life pastor, his wife is in gown, hair covered, everything covered, all the way down. But his husband, her husband had impregnated a young girl somewhere. Why? Because they did not apply wisdom. They did not apply wisdom. When they say, be holy when you come out, dress in a, in a way that, that will not expose or tempt people outside, but not inside your bedroom as well. God is not angry when you dress in a way that will attract and draw your husband's attention inside your bedroom. God wants it that way. So somehow we take this holiness business too far and before you realize, our, our, our wisdom has left us. And it's rather making us disgrace ourselves. A lot of these people who they oh let's cover everything, let's cover everything, and they take it into the home, cover everything inside the home. Before I realize, they start fornicating outside, and it's wrong. So let's do it exciting inside our marriages, so that we'll be kept away from the delilahs and the temptation that is lurking out there for us. Okay, all right. Uh, uh, we 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 also mentioned one to quickly cover this so that we can move on to something else. Uh, uh, we say another thing that helps to have quality sex inside marriage is openness. Don't keep secrets. Don't keep secrets. The more you are open with each other, you talk to each other about everything, you communicate about everything, it helps you to give yourself out fully. Okay? Openness. Openness. Don't keep secrets. Don't keep pin numbers, bank numbers quietly. Your wife cannot see what's going on on your phone. How can he reach orgasm when you are sleeping with her? She doesn't know whether there's some girlfriend somewhere. She doesn't know what is happening. Your wife doesn't know how much you earn. She can't have access to your bank details. How does she know if she gets pregnant right now, you'll be able to take care of the children? Okay, so be open. Let, let your wife know exactly what she's going in for. Let your husband know exactly what she's going, he's going in for. So the two of you can really have wonderful, powerful, exciting sex. Okay, so that's very, very important. Openness, openness is important. Self-confidence. Be confident about who you are. Be confident about your body. Whatever your body looks like now, my brother, my sister, that is what God has given you. 
You may have a pot belly now, but don't let that kill your self-confidence. Exercise, work on it. It's important thing that will help you change. But as you are waiting to do that, or as you have started, don't look down on yourself. You're a lady. You gave birth. Your body shape has changed. Don't look down on yourself. Your stomach has become big after childbirth. Don't look down on yourself. You got stretch marks. Don't look down on yourself. Don't feel you are not ugly. You are not ugly. It's now that you are even looking more beautiful. Mm -hmm. Hmm? Your breasts are falling because the children have sucked it and the husband has also finished it. No, don't feel bad. It is still good breast. It will still work. Be confident in your body. You had a surgery. God forbid something evil happened and maybe they had to do surgery. They've cut, cut some of your stomach or they cut even one of your breasts or something. Like that. Still, don't look down on yourself, my dear sisters especially. Don't look down on yourself. When you stand in the mirror, still tell yourself that you are fearfully and wonderfully made. Know that no matter how you look, you are still in the image of God. So don't look, don't look down on yourself. Don't feel so bad. Because the moment you start feeling bad, it will affect how you enjoy sex. You can't enjoy sex if you feel you are ugly, if you feel your stomach is too big, your legs are too small, your legs are knocking knee, your, 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 your teeth is too long, your mouth is like this. Don't look. In this life, eh, we, when we're all born babies, we're all fresh. As we go through life, things happen. Accidents happen. Diseases may come. Attacks may come. Issues may happen. Our bodies change. But make the most of what is left. You are not dead. Don't die before your time. Don't die before your time. Don't. Many of you have killed yourself whilst you are still alive. Because something happened, they cut one breast, they did an operation, your stomach now doesn't look okay. So all of a sudden, you don't want to have sex anymore. If you have to have sex, the lights must be off, everything must be off. It must be in the complete dark room. No! Be proud of your stretch marks, be proud of operation marks, be proud of delivery marks, be proud of whatever. You are still you. Be strong in who you are. Don't let anybody make you feel bad about your body. Be proud of your body. Maybe if they had gone through what your body has gone through, they would have died. So be proud of your body. Don't let anybody body shame you. You husbands who pass careless comments about your wife's bodies after all the things they've been... When you met them, that's not how their bodies were looking. When you met your wife, it was because her body was very attractive. That's why you, you drew closer to her. So if through childbirth, through whatever, her body has changed, show her respect, show her honor. Always talk to her looking at the body you saw at first, not the current body you are seeing. And let your wife never feel bad about her body. And you wives as well. Don't do that to your husbands. Okay? So be proud about your body. Be confident about your body. Boost each other's uh, uh, body confidence. And uh, it will help as well. You want to add something? Yeah, the thing has taken me out. <laughs> oh, okay. So, um, yeah. I've done. Okay. Okay, so timing. Timing as well. Um, you, you should have intimate relations at a time when it is convenient for both of you. So not at a time when the woman is not available or not able to, or the man is not available or not able to. Mm -hmm. You need to have it at a time when it is convenient <laughs> mm -hmm. so that you can all enjoy it. Mm -hmm. Okay, So there may be times where the children are around. If it's not convenient, I mean, sit down and think about which which time will be okay. And then also you need to, when it comes to timing, you need to come to a compromise. Yeah. Because somebody may want it in the morning. Mm -hmm. Somebody may want it in the afternoon. Another mm -hmm. may want it in the evening. Mm -hmm. Depending on your work schedules and all that, mm -hmm. come to a compromise. Compromise, but make sure that it is it is done at a time when both of you feel refreshed, both of you feel rested, and both of not you are comfortable. Not too tired, not apprehensive, not being afraid that the children will be knocking anytime. That thing is nice. So when you are doing that, you are afraid the children will be knocking. It's like hey, let's do it quick, let's do it quick. It's also <laughs> fine, but don't do it every day like that. Once a while, okay. <laughs> but always find a time that is suitable for both of you, yeah. where you can both enjoy it and enjoy it well enjoy it well and then also you need to check your bedroom cleanliness okay mm -hmm. don't i mean i don't know how you feel but i cannot enjoy intimacy in a bedroom that is dirty or not well kept cluttered. it's cluttered there's everything everywhere there are shoes where every i cannot mm -hmm. i mean there's a reason why we mentioned last week there's yeah. a reason why hotels are kept clean yeah I mean, try a hotel love making it takes, it's powerful it's, it's, it's hey. Really, hey pastor Derek. We've slept in hotels, so... You and who? <laughs> me and this woman. Around the world, though. Oh, Around the world. Don't start it. Don't start it. <laughs> UK. As for UK, countless. Countless. In different regions in UK. USA. Germany. 
many times in Germany. Holland, France, uh, Czech, Austria, Austria, Malta, Switzerland. Have I mentioned Switzerland? Mm -hmm. Ghana. Ghana. Oh man, Ghana to different, different. Oh man, try, try. If you haven't tried hotels, try. It's powerful. It's powerful. It's powerful. It's powerful. It's powerful. Okay, so so try that. It, it, it's very very good. And then. Um, uh, right, so John is saying that he's a health practitioner Good And that we should talk about the issue of high and low libido between partners mm -hmm. Let them be taught how to do caressing and flirting before entering Jerusalem Yeah, yeah But we've mentioned that, we've talked about Right, John, this is just a recap Or some of the things are recap of what we are Yeah What we did, so we've mentioned all that Which is yeah. true Yeah, yeah we, we we, I think we'll get back to that we'll Or, back or to did that. we skip it? I think that's at the top We didn't go back to that yeah. today So, so that, There sure. are foods that help boost your libido And, and there are foods that, that lower your libido mm -hmm. So, Generally, eat more fruits Eat more herbs Exercise more Eat less sugar Eat less carbohydrates eat water. Get more sleep Drink a lot of water And there are certain fruits uh, we, we can't go back to it But there are certain fruits That actually really boost your libido Certain fishes Oily fish and all those things That boost your libido And there are some fruits That destroy your libido Avoid burger and fast foods And things like that They are not good for, for your sexual uh, uh, health Okay So things like that They help Right Okay so have good exercise uh, uh, keep an eye on your health If there is anything that is of concern Please seek help Talk to your doctors Talk to your doctors So that you you, you, uh, you can arrest things Early enough You don't wait till it becomes a problem Before you, 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 you deal with it So seek help Seek help as soon as you see anything is wrong in your body Talk to your doctor And get things sorted out Have an exercise regimen That will help you keep fit as well Because sex requires a lot of fitness Right? And then uh, have make time for each other Couples should make a lot of time Sometimes we get so busy that we don't have time for each other And it affects the quality of our sex life Have time to sit down Watch movies together Talk with each other Caress each other Kiss each other and just uh, 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 have have some wonderful, wonderful times together. All right. Um, that would be a blessing. That would be a blessing. And then we also said that pray a lot about it. Pray a lot about it because sex is also a spiritual activity. Sex is also a spiritual activity. So pray about your sex life. Pray about your sex life. Let the Holy Spirit lead you. Let him guide you. Let him empower you. Let him help you. So all the things we've mentioned, only God will help you to have that kind of heart to be able to love your husband and your wife so you can enjoy these things well all right so then we came to age to sexual satisfaction yeah quality romance very very important so i think that's what um, um john was saying yeah romance is very important in my, especially for the woman i don't mm -hmm. know about other women mm -hmm. but you cannot just come and, and and expect me to be in the mood like that no you have to take me to where you are carry you have me to along. bring you into the mood you have to carry me along because Lie. most of most of the time my mind hey, is not there your electricity is on <laughs> also, but no no there's okay. no electricity there's on no electricity on okay light I mean, off <laughs> light off it's okay light off. Most of the time, I'm, I think as women, our mm -hmm. minds are not always on intimacy. Twenty. Yeah, because seven. women multitask. Like, yeah, we are. A woman is about always doing something, thinking, about, thinking about something. Yeah. We are thinking about the home. We are thinking about job and all those things. So sex is not always on our minds. Like so, us, as for us, you know, mommy, mommy. You see, I was telling you that why is it that men, a woman can go to work and come back, a man also goes to work and come back, but when they come home. The man is automatically tired. The, the woman may have even done more work at work than the man did. Yeah. But the man is tired. The, the man cannot do anything. He just sits down and he's tired. He can't do anything. I, I realize that it's because men cannot multitask. No. We, All right. Okay. So the whole day, eh, we plan ahead that today this is what I'm going to do. This one thing I do. That's what Paul wrote. <laughs> this one thing I do. Okay, a man who said today I will go to work and come, and once he's gone to do that and that come back, he, in his mind he's tired because he has finished just that thing that he had to do. Mm -hmm. But women mix a thousand things that they are willing to do in a day, so they can go come and still, their body may be tired, but their mind is not tired, so they carry on working. But the man, once he finishes that one thing, his mind is tired because he's yeah. accomplished what he said he wanted to do. So that is the one of the reasons why. why you yeah, on. okay. Yeah, but carry on, carry on. Sorry. Yeah, so you need to carry your wife along. Okay, mm -hmm. 
carry your wife along learn to have quality romance with your wife yeah it's important mm -hmm. and like i keep saying romance starts from the morning mm -hmm. you don't have to have romance when you are on the you are about to do it yeah that's not when you just you have romance romance mm -hmm. can be from the morning and romance is anything anything can be romance how you talk to each other how you text each other what you text each other how you tickle each other whatever you do you ha even how hugging. you touch each other before you even exactly. part ways to go to work when you come back how you talk to each other how you hold each other how you eat if, if you can take some of the food put it into, into your wife's mouth take some of the food put it into your husband's mouth how you eat all those things how you watch TV even. <laughs> Sit with each oh, other. Yeah. You put, put your, your hands on each on, other. Put your hands on each other's laps. The news uh, caster is doing, you are you are, you are enjoying a uh, breast <laughs> and all that. You see, so you have to do multitasking, right? You are holding a breast whilst the, the news is going. By the time the news is over, your wife is wet, ready to fire. Okay, so make time. Touching each other, talking to each other. When she's in the kitchen, go to her, stand behind her, hold her breast from behind her, press her bottom. They like it when they are cooking and you press their bottom. <laughs> oh, okay? stop it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they will do. Oh, stop That's it. What they do. Oh, stop that. I it don't means, like it. means carry on. It means do more. It means that is exactly what I want. You are in the oh, spirit. Yeah. Oh, stop it. The food, you make me mess up with the food. That is exactly what she wants. Press more. Press more, hold more. By the time the food is done, she's already in the mood. Okay. So, men, let's touch our wives more. Wives want to be touched, they want to be held, and you they know, want us to know, speak to them kindly. How okay? many times are there was something I put on Facebook some time ago, I don't remember, mm -hmm. that a woman needs how many meaningful touches a day? Yeah, I forgot the I don't number, remember, but it was but a lot of touches. A woman yeah. needs certain amount of meaningful, and I'm not talking about that. Mm -hmm. I mean, you, you know, you can touch somebody and the person will feel in his heart oh, or her what heart. Oh, like, like, that, like <laughs> you touch well, I want to touch you. Oh. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> touch you like this. Don't touch you. I don't want to melt on the on the screen. <laughs> I want to be. Should I melt it? No. <laughs> <laughs> so please have quality romance. Help your woman. Drag your woman along. Yeah. Don't leave her behind. Because mm -hmm. if you leave, leave her behind, mm -hmm. she's not going to be in the mood to give you her best. Yeah. She cannot give you what she hasn't got. Mm -hmm. So move her along. And then we also said use lubricants where yeah. needed. Yeah, use lubricants. lubricants. Where needed. Because sometimes you don't have time. You are in a hurry. But and sometimes too psychologically your wife is down. She can't get wet quickly. So lubricants, quality lubricants. Buy one buy a few and keep there uh, they are different that there are some that will cause itching there are some that will cause heat so look for one that is convenient for you and then also look for one that doesn't kill sperm especially if you are waiting to have children okay if you are planning to have children then don't buy lubricants some of them they have spermicides in them they kill the sperm or even if they don't have spermicide they 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 are too thick so the sperm cannot swim through them Okay, so there are some also that are designed to aid the sperm to swim. So look for that one and buy, especially if you're looking for children. If you're not looking for children, then it's fine. You you will be okay with anyone that uh, uh, works for you. Okay, if you are the type that wants pepper, go for the pepper one. Okay, anyone that works for you. But lubricants are good. Seek counseling if you need it. If you think that you really need counseling. We are counselors. We may be able to help you. Now, it's becoming hard for us to even respond to. It's becoming hard for us to even be able to respond to the the uh, messages we get. They are coming in the hundreds every day and it, 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 or every week at least. It's difficult for us to make time because we both work. So it's, it's, it's difficult for us to make time, but we'll try. If you need serious counseling, maybe this is we have to actually book proper and then do proper counseling with you. Or if not us, find good counselors and then get counseling. It will help you. And then yeah then we talked about vitamins and herbs yeah herbal teas okay vitamins to boost your immunity because as you are growing as you're going about your daily routines you, you your immunity goes down yeah and as There's you're so growing you get you get more yeah. tired yeah so you need to f work on that get vitamins that will boost your immunity as well as herbal teas it's very important to keep you and um, healthy and and for your stamina to also be there yeah and seek medical help get medical help if you cannot have erection if you're having itching, if you're having an infection, if uh, 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 you, you can you can never get wet, and all these things, get medical help. If you're ejaculating too quickly, get medical help. 
Don't wait till it gets worse. Get medical help. Okay? So any of those issues, get medical help quickly. All right? And then we mentioned the fruits and the vegetables. Uh, for men, these fruits will boost your, 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 your libido. Watermelons, blackberries, pine nuts, avocado, broccoli, extra virgin olive oil, bananas, figs, dark cocoa. It helps. Chocolate, basil, garlic. Don't chew it before you go kiss your wife. She'll drive you out. Okay, garlic, spinach, pepper, green tea, oysters, pesto, ginger, pumpkin seeds, potatoes, uh, fatty fish like salmon, sardine, tuna, nuts, blueberries, garlic. And they all help. Oats for women, coffee, ginseng, maca, chamomile, uh, 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 tea, red clover tea, steak, meat for iron. Okay, because women lose a lot of iron during menstruation and all that. Pomegranate juice, watermelon, also helps women as well, sorry. Blueberries, nuts, garlic, oats, all these things also help women as well. So, get some of these things, they will help. Now, let's come to hindrances. Hindrances, these fruits we mentioned, they help with your libido. Now, we're coming to the hindrances to sexual satisfaction. What are the things that fight us from having quality sexual satisfaction in our marriages? Erectile dysfunction, number one. When you cannot have an erection at all or you cannot sustain an erection. So, men, they can get the erection, but within a minute, it dies again. And there's nothing they can do. There could be psychological reasons why this is happening. There could be physiological reasons. Maybe you are too tired. If you are too tired, rest. If you are stressed, stress can cause that. If you are too stressed, seek help or find why you are stressed and work on it. Okay? Deal with it. Overcome it. Overcome it. If there's too much stress, overcome it. And then also, uh, if it is uh, 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 any problem you have with your wife, work on it. But if you need medical help, please go to hospital. Talk to your doctor. Doctor, I cannot have an erection or my erection cannot stand. When it comes, it goes back quickly and my wife is angry with me. They will help you and then you'll be fine. I just get premature ejaculation. Premature ejaculation also ruins the quality of sex. You, before, before you enter, you are already ejaculating. You spoil the woman. Okay? A man should be able to sustain a, a strong erection for sex for at least 10 minutes, 15 minutes possibly. But at least 10 minutes you should be able to sustain a good uh, 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 erection without ejaculating. Even up to some 15, you should be able to. So if you are coming one minute, two minutes, it's it's not good. Three minutes, it's not good. <laughs> it's not good at all. Okay? It's not good. It can be very frustrating. It can be frustrating for your wife. It can be very frustrating for your wife. So get help. Don't say it's normal. It's normal. It is not normal. Okay, I hear diabetes and alcohol also creates those problems. Yeah. So if you are diabetic, please, like we've already mentioned, seek yeah. medical help mm -hmm. to help you sustain an erection. Yeah. I, mean, I can confidently tell you, no woman wants a two minute man or a one nah, minute man. Nah. Because it's now for a woman that two minutes is now that she's beginning she hasn't to, even get, started. to get into the mood and then it is all over. So, but before you go to the stadium, the match, the is, match over. is over. You I are mean, disappointed. And you've already bought ticket ahead of time. That's wrong. Okay. So please make sure that you are lasting. Ma mark it that minimum, minimum 10 minutes. But aim for 30 minutes, even if you can. Or aim for at least until your wife has uh, 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 orgasmed. Then you, you also are free to now come. Okay, so work on that. Pornography is another thing that ruins the quality of sex in a marriage. Pornography, it ruins sex in a marriage. So please, don't bring it in. Satan will tell you that, oh, it's good. Uh, you need pornography so that you learn no 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 you don't learn styles from pornography you learn styles from the wisdom of the spirit of god okay so don't bring pornography into your home it will it will destroy you if you like try eventually your sex life will get horrible it will get bad you won't like it you start fighting each other you start looking outside because pornography it carries a spirit it carries a demon of adultery with it it will come and ruin your marriage don't bring it in menopause it's another thing that can affect the quality of sex when a wife is going through menopause. But you can you can avoid it. It's it's a natural part of the human body, okay? So when your wife is going through menopause, find whatever help you can get, whether medical help or counseling help, that will help her to be able to make the most of it. Or you to learn to be a bit patient with her 
whilst you go through that until the period is over and then she can come back many menopausal women go off a bit some in, in, actually in, get higher de uh, desire but many get less desire but after they go they pass that phase many go back and then the the latter end is worse than the former they get more powerful and more desirous so don't give up on your Pastor, wife on here. the yes. issue of premature ejaculation michelle yeah. is saying that for men, mm -hmm. so palmetto, which keeps the male scrotum very healthy mm -hmm. and protects them from prostate cancer. Right. It's good for them. Okay. And then teas are made from it and given to them and it can be found in natural health food store. Right. Please, so, the name, write the name down. I think the name is so palmetto. If I... Okay, so palmetto. So please, everybody, if you you struggle with premature ejaculation or your wife, your husband struggles with premature ejaculation, so, so palmetto, uh, I hear that it helps a lot. So you can go to a health shop and buy one, use it into a tea, uh, a brew it, and be drinking it. Drink, 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 drink. So you can last. Okay, you can mm -hmm. last. It's a very, very good. Uh, masturbation. That's what we're talking. And, and it, it links with sex toys. When you have practiced the thing on your own, when you meet your wife, you will not be able to give her the best. When you have practiced the thing on your own, when you meet your husband, you can give him the best. Because your, your husband's penis size may not be the same as a sex toy. So you have a sex toy that has one size, your husband's size is different. You will not, you, you will not, you will not enjoy it. And when you are not enjoying it, you will not be able to help your husband to enjoy it either. This is why sex toys are not advisable. And, and, uh, uh, um, um, Masturbation, masturbation is also not advisable because masturbation and sex toy they go together mm -hmm. okay so please avoid those things pornography masturbation sex toys they will ruin the quality of your sex life and then i mean you talked about masturbation when it i mean on the men's mm -hmm. side but the women also do all kinds of things to their own bodies yeah don't get into the i mean self-pleasurizing self-pleasurizing mm -hmm. is what we are trying to discourage yeah. here because if you are married mm -hmm. then you should learn to pleasurize each, each other. other so you you do it for your husband your husband do it for you you do me i, I do, do you. Yeah. <laughs> but don't go and hide somewhere alone put all kinds of things and that you was when we're going to school secondary school there were all kinds of things people were pulling yeah, bananas banana, um, uh, deodorants, deodorants and, and all, all those things but now they have advanced it's no longer banana and deodorant now it's a dildo dildo yeah dildo and whatever they plug I mean, I, I will. But All you need is to have enough electricity. You plug it in, and, and my just, sister, you are away, <laughs> away, <laughs> away. You are just lined up. <laughs> How do you know you lined up? Maybe okay, stand. you can stand. Yeah. We, or you we, can do it in your car. Once you are driving, then you plug it, then you then are you driving. Then you be driving. <laughs> <laughs> make, make sure you are not caught. So please, let's, let's avoid those things, okay? And then another hindrance is um, lack of foreplay. We've talked about foreplay as mm -hmm, well. Mm -hmm. When there's not enough foreplay, the lady is not able to reach. You know, you need to reach. Um, when, when you are, when you are, um, when the pilot is, what do you call it, moving the plane? Yeah. You need to get to a, a stage where the plane can take off. V8. V1. V1. V8. V8 is a car. <laughs> Abba, my wife. I've talked to every place. Ah, uh, you still don't know. I am not an airplane person. What is it again? V one. V one. So because the airplane needs to go slowly. It's not okay. slow. You go. Okay, okay. taxi is slow. Yeah. Once you get on the runway, ready to take off, cabin crew, take, take your, your seats. seats. So okay? once I take your seats, cabin. yeah, then you go full throttle. And then it will increase speed till it gets to V one. Once then it then gets to V one, the plane will tell you V one. Because V one is calculated based on the weight of the aeroplane okay. and the speed. Right. It, it, it has see, to be if it's fully weight. loaded, mm -hmm. it, it looks at how my, how many people are in it, how much load it's carrying. Then it will calculate how much speed, what at what speed level will, will it be, be able, able to, to take to, off? Okay. okay. So okay. if it's light, mm -hmm. it will be able to take off at a lower speed. Okay. If it's heavier, it needs more, more speed. speed. Uh -huh. So once it reaches V one, the and plane will tell you yeah. it will mention V one in the cockpit. Then you have to roll. When it, excited you have about when it mentions V1, <laughs> uh, when it mentions V1, uh, you have to make the decision mm -hmm. whether you are rotating okay. or you are aborting. Okay. So if by V1, let's say you have a bus tie or you've ingested a bed or something, mm -hmm. you have to abort. Mm -hmm. Then you, it means that you are not taking off. You are not rotating. Mm -hmm. But once it goes to V1, 
and everything is all right. Then you say you, the pilot committee rotates. Then, then you, you pull the, the okay. this thing. Then off you go. All right. So that's a little <laughs> bit of aeroplanes. Right. My husband okay. loves aeroplanes. I'm a I pocket pilot. I don't know why he does. So in the same way, the woman will have to get to V1. Yeah. V1, not V8. V1. <laughs> V8 is a car, it's a car engine. Before okay. before she can fly. Yeah. So it's important that you have a lot of foreplay. Yeah. It is the foreplay, so the foreplay will be the weight of the airplane. Yeah, and we calculate the, everything. Yeah. So the weight is like, how troubled is your wife? How has the day been? How yes. tired is she? Yes. If she's more tired, then you know that it took you more, more time, time to exactly. be able to get her. If it's let's say she's not very well, it will it take you take more, more effort. Time, yeah. Okay. But if she's been a good day, maybe she hasn't gone to work, she's relaxed all day. You've had a lot of quality time all day. Mm -hmm. Then you know that the plane is light, so <laughs> you, you wouldn't need to do much before you take you off. Just take off. <laughs> you can take off it easily. So yeah. please, lack of foreplay is a massive hindrance to sexual intimacy, especially yeah. on the life on mm -hmm. the part of the woman. There's a question. What question? Mine is only so somebody talking about sex while preparing for church service or something. Oh yes. The, oh, no, I have answered the question. So the, there's a question. Uh -huh. Don't ask the question. That is it okay to have? Let's say you are getting ready for church, mm -hmm. and your spouse wants to have sex before church. Mm -hmm. Is it a sin to do it before church? It is not a sin, my brother. If it is your husband or your wife, you can even do it behind the church. It, <laughs> I'm not saying inside the church building, no. <laughs> behind the church building, you can still do it, and God is happy with it. Okay, God is still happy with it. The angels, the angels who protect the church, they will come and stand stand beside you and clap for you as you are doing. So please. You can do it right before you go to it is not a sin between husband and wife it's not a sin okay so there's a question mm -hmm. what do you do when your spouse is selfish doing sex mm -hmm. like it like it feels like they are getting more pleasure than you like you make sure that they get off but they really aren't focused on getting you off mm -hmm. what do you do yeah so then, then you to get selfish you see, one thing that will help you, you think your husband doesn't focus on you and focus only on himself. You too, when you go in, focus on yourself. Focus on what you can get. It, it, this is not the best advice, but I'm just... The best is that you're able to talk to him and then the two of you are able to come to an agreement, okay? So that he will, he will think about you, he will think about you also when you are doing it, so that you can both enjoy and have a very good time. But unfortunately, many husbands, they don't think about that. They don't think about their wife. They only think about themselves. What they can get, how they can enjoy themselves. So if it becomes like that, you, a woman, become aggressive. Before you go and have your battle plan, this and this is what I want. I want to reach orgasm today by all means. Once you start, no, tell him, hold my hair, touch my hair, say this to me, do this for me, stand here like this, do this, take control. Many of you women, you see, one reason why a lot of women do not enjoy sex, one reason why a lot of women do not enjoy sex is that you are too passive. You think that it is the man who must practice sex on you. And so you are waiting for him to do things for you so that you will reach orgasm, you will enjoy it. No, 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 those days are past. A lot of men have become selfish. So you go in with your own battle plan. This is what I want. This is what I'm going I'm to do. Going for it. Those days where we said that the man was having sex with the woman is past. Yeah, now you go in, go and have sex better. with your husband. <laughs> go in and also rock. When if you have Papa, you can say, No, lie down. I'm coming on you today. Tell him straight away. You lie down there, brother. Lie down. <laughs> 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 Brother, yeah. No, he's, he's coming in as a man. He thinks he's a big boss. He's coming. He's, as, he's expecting that you go, you lie down for him to come on top of you. I said, what? No, no, no. You lie down. Mm -hmm. Lie down. Come on. Pick up your erection. Lie down. <laughs> then you sit on him and then you ride and ride and ride. You tell him, hold my breast. Hold, my, <laughs> hold it this way. Squeeze me. Do this. Do that. Command him. Force him to do what you want. Uh him to do until you when you orgasm age 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 when you finish then you jump over and say uh huh you're uh huh what do you want now I'm ready for you oh my goodness yeah <laughs> then you, you tell him uh huh now I'm ready for you but please don't go and just lie down quietly hoping that oh then you are lying down some of you women you are you're talking in your head hey why won't you hold my breath today why is he not kissing me why is he not doing that and then you are just there and you are just there I'm a man saying it's good to see. I've seen your name flash up. 
But because of what has been pinned on the thing, I can't see any comment. That's why I'm not responding to comments. But I saw your name flash up. So it's good to see you, my dear sister. God bless you and everybody uh, out there, okay? All right. But you keep the comments coming. I will go through them uh, uh, maybe later. Right. Okay. So please, dear ladies, stop, stop being too passive. Stop lying down and just hoping that, oh, why is he not touching my breast? If you want him to touch him, tell him. Me, I'm on my breast. Press my breast right now. <laughs> Press my bottom right now. Put your hand under right now. Kiss me right now. Command him. He will be shocked. He said, what has happened to my wife? Uh, but After I everything that you listen, tell listen. him that, Marriage school. Marriage now, school. Now they said I'm suspicious. I'm the, I don't do that. So I don't do lie down now. Do Look, this please now. remember me in your prayers. You, are... <laughs> you won't believe it. This morning, Pastor Derek was telling me that I, I raped him. How is that possible? Yeah. How can I, Pastor Derek? Remember, I was raped. Remember me. Remember me. Remember me in your prayers. Uh... Oh, dear. Remember me in your prayers. <laughs> Oh no, God. Remember me in your prayers because it, it's serious. Yeah, try to try me. Remember me. I can never rape you, Pastor. Remember me in your prayers. It it is a serious it's a serious case. But be aggressive, ladies. I'm telling you this. This is the plan I'm giving you, ladies. Be aggressive. Don't lie down. Hoping that it's the man who must do everything to you. And don't let anybody tell you that if you are aggressive as a woman, you are spoiled. You are not spoiled. Can you imagine that you eat together with your husband from the same plate? Every time you come, immediately the food is served. He takes the fish or the meat. Gra, gra, gra. He finishes eating the meat and they say, let's eat the rice. And he's doing that every time. And maybe you've told him he's not responding. He's not, and every day he just eats the fish, eats the meat, eats the chicken. And then he leaves you the rice. Today, we, all of us, our eyes have opened. Immediately, you're going, brother, lie down there. <laughs> lie down. Remove your pants. Lie down. Then he lies down. Pick up erection quickly. He picks it up. <laughs> From where? Then you jump on him. Ra, 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 ra. Hold my breast right now. Hold my breast. Press my button. Press my button. Let, command him about. Let him do what you want him to do. When you finish, you shout, hey, man. Then you come off. <laughs> <laughs> then you tell him, okay, now. What do you also want? What can I do for you? But don't be too passive. Don't, don't, if you are with, the Bible says that uh, uh, the kingdom of God suffers violence and violent men take it by force. I, I also say that and everybody is pressing into the kingdom. Press into it. Take what is rightfully yours. Otherwise, you'll be denied. Many of you women are being denied because you are too quiet. You are too passive. You are not pushing for what is yours. Please, that those days are over. Fight for your rights. And don't demand that, oh, you should be doing this for me. You Take it by force. The violence shall take it by force. Let your husband begin to humble himself <laughs> by, by the way you are commanding things around. He will, come, he will humble himself. Okay? He will humble himself. So do that. Do that. All right? Okay? Uh, 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 where were we? Okay, so foreplay, lack of romance. Make sure that, uh, uh, I mean, you are having a lot of romance uh, oh, in, in the so, marriage he generally. He says that her husband is old. Her husband is 40 and she's 27. That's not old. Your husband is 40 and you are 27. He's not old. I mean, the, the age gap is quite wide, but it's it, it, 40 is not old, please. 40, I'm, I'm, I'm more than 40. What are you trying to tell me? Am I an old man sitting <laughs> you, if, if you were close, I would have given you a knock. Right? Am I an old man? Do you know, you ask my wife, am I an old man? No. Nah. <laughs> I'm not an old man. Ah, this lady, me, I'm an old no, man. No, no, she didn't say you no, are I, an old man. Yeah, but she's saying that her husband and is an old man. Her husband is old. She didn't say you. Yeah, but her, your husband is forty. I am older than forty. But it depends on what everybody is saying. No, no, I'm very, very angry. I'm very, very, very angry. Your husband is forty. I am older than forty, and you are referring to your husband as an old man on my platform. <laughs> see me as an old man what do you think my wife is going to take me for and she's the one she's the one reading the comments you want her to start referring to me as an old man inside the bedroom hey this woman i'm going to block her right now <laughs> hey 40 is now that powers have come you say you are old man we are not old men no let all the 40 year old men on the broadcast say amen we are not old men we are am i am i am an old man it can never be possible hey 120 until i'm 120 i'm not an old man i'm going to fire till god himself will say my son 
enough. It's enough. <laughs> Oh, uh, we bless God. We bless God. We bless oh, God. God. Okay. So another thing that ruins the quality of sex in marriage is unfaithfulness. Mm. Unfaithfulness. <laughs> eh? Unfaithfulness. When, when, when uh, 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 the husband has gone to sleep with somebody outside, or the wife has gone to sleep with somebody outside, you can never expect that the sex is going to be like it used to be. It will take a lot of time for healing to take place. To take a lot of time for the pain to be forgotten. Look, infidelity is very painful. Pastor, please. Yes. Yeah. There's a question. Mm -hmm. Rob Bosai say, what do you think about a husband mm -hmm. that writes down the date he sleeps with his wife? Mm -hmm. I am in that kind of relationship. I'm seriously thinking of quitting. Ah, what do you mean by writes down the date? The date he has he sex with his wife, he mm -hmm. writes it down. After he has had the sex or before he has the sex? Um, is it like he uses can... a calendar? Okay, so we'll be having sex on the 16th and then we'll have another one on the 28th and then we'll have another... No, no, that one is not good. Or if immediately he finishes, he writes the date down. Oh, okay, or maybe is it that because he, he's, he doubts you, he thinks that you may go and get pregnant somewhere and come and put it on him. So he's writing the date. So anytime you get pregnant, he can... I don't understand this question on it. I'm just speculating. So please, let's be clear on that one. All right. Okay. So whilst we are wait, waiting for any feedback on that, mm. uh, 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 unfaithfulness. So please, guard your heart. Guard your heart from unfaithfulness. Make sure that you do not uh, 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 betray your husband or betray your wife. When you go sleep with somebody outside, it will affect oh, them. Oh, she's saying that he has rejected two of the kids. Ah, okay. His own children, he has rejected them. Yeah. No, 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 no. Oh, I'm a man, I've seen you here again. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Calendar sex, yeah. All right. No, that somebody one... say he's an elective mass teacher. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's wrong. It's bad. It is bad. He can't do that. It's very, very bad for any husband to... To, to doubt your wife to an extent that anytime you have sex, you write the date so that in case she gets pregnant, you can count. What type of man are you? Some men have a problem. That, bring him on the broadcast, let me fire him. It's it's wrong. He's very, very wrong. He's very wrong to be doing that. And it's wrong to have rejected your children. If he has any doubt, he should do DNA. But it shouldn't make you feel bad. Unless maybe there's been infidelity and that is making him... If, or if there's, there's been a clear infidelity and he knows it has happened, Maybe that is affecting him. And that's what we are talking about here. That unfaithfulness, where one party has slept with somebody outside, it can affect the quality of the sex for the offended party. But it can also affect the quality of the sex for the one who went to do it. Because my wife has her own style. My wife has her own way of talking to me and all those things. If I go to sleep with another woman mm -hmm. and she's the one who does some dangerous things and I come back to my wife, and I find out that my wife is not like the other woman. I will not be able to enjoy my wife better. And then when I'm with my wife, if I'm not careful, I'll be mentioning the other woman's name. Or I'll be imagining that I'm dealing with the other woman. And it will affect how my wife will also feel. So infidelity is a dangerous thing. It's a terrible thing. Please avoid it. If you want to enjoy good sex in your home, please do not uh, 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 be unfaithful with each other uh, there's a okay. question okay so yeah. the lady said that mm -hmm. he has rejected two of his children even mm -hmm. though the, he all his children look exactly like him and he has still rejected and, them. and he's a pastor as well oh and then there's a yeah, so this will disgrace the work oh there's there was a question about what if you give your yeah what if you're giving your spouse sex all the time but he still cheats on you what then he you has do? a spiritual problem he needs deliverance or he needs counseling. He has either a mental problem or a spiritual problem. He needs either counseling or deliverance. Because it's not normal. It's not normal that you are having regular sex because you're married and you are still going to have sex outside. It is not normal. He has a problem. Okay. Yeah. All right. And then, so, unfaithfulness. Mm -hmm. Another thing that hinders sex is poor communication. Yeah. I've realized that communication is, is an art mm -hmm. and it needs to be learned. Mm -hmm. You need to learn how to communicate with each other. Mm -hmm. And remember, everybody has their own love language. Mm -hmm. Somebody's love language is whatever, touch me. What's your love language? So then you want me to reveal it? <laughs> okay. I'll tell you, I'll whisper it into your ears. All right, okay. <laughs> So learn to communicate with your spouse. Mm -hmm. There's a particular way of communicating with your, probably your ex-boyfriend. Mm -hmm. 
that will not work well with your husband. Mm -hmm. Do not import that kind of communication to your marriage. Yeah. Learn how to communicate with each other. Mm. Some people want to be talked to in a particular way. Yeah. Some people want to be addressed in a particular way. Mm -hmm. So make sure that you are communicating. You cannot decide that I'm not I don't communicate with you, mm -hmm. but I want to have sex with you. It doesn't work like yeah. that. Because sex is the highest form of communication. Mm -hmm. So before you get to the highest form of communication, yeah, you must start from somewhere. You need to start from the, from the lower bottom, level yeah. of communication. You cannot talk to each other about simple things in the house. You cannot say you cannot discuss simple things in the house. Why, why do you think that you have uh, great sex? It's, yeah. it, it will not work like that. Some so, couples are not on talking terms with each other. <laughs> and they yeah. want to have sex. They, it doesn't you work will like enjoy that. it. It will not work. You go out. You just slam the door and you go. You don't. Your wife doesn't know where you are going. You go out. They don't know where you are. You come home. You, come, you want sex as well. My brother, you either not get it or you will get a very bad one. <laughs> mm -hmm. So communication communicate a lot about your life about each other about where you are going about your day how was your day how is everything if you, you are served food oh thank you for giving me this food oh this food is nice communicate constantly what is the matter why are you quiet let's talk everything on your heart communicate it opens you up so that when you are having sex you are free to do it and do it well and during the sex itself as well communication before during and after communicate Talk constantly. What is working? What needs to improve? What can help? What is talk? Talk a lot. If you are not talking, uh, you cannot have anything good. You cannot have everything rises and falls on communication. Mm -hmm. Even before creation, the Bible says in the beginning, uh, God made the heaven and the earth, and the earth was without uh, form and void. And then the spirit of the Lord uh, uh, hovered mm -hmm. upon the surface of the deep. And then God said. Let us, it, it's a cost, let there be, let there be, let there be. And then when it came to man, let us make one our own meat. Communication, the world started with communication. Your marriage will do well, your sex will do well with communication. Outside of communication, it, it, it won't work. So those of you who are always quiet, who don't talk, you just think and make all the decisions inside your head. Change. <clears throat> talk to your wife, especially women are communication beings. They always want to hear, they always want to talk. Allow your wife to talk. Don't shut her down. You talk too much. And then you to talk to her. Communicate. And don't only communicate with words. Communicate with touches. Communicate with notes. With text messages. With social media. Communicate constantly with everything. Communicate with everything. Okay? So it, it, will, it will be a blessing. Another one is lack of tenderness and care. Mm -hmm. It's a big hindrance to sexual intimacy. I mean, enjoying it. Mm -hmm. You cannot decide that or you cannot think that you don't care about your wife. Mm -hmm. You are not tender towards each other. Mm -hmm. You don't care about their basic needs. Emotional needs are not met. Physical needs are not met. Mm -hmm. Psychological needs are not met. And then suddenly sexual needs need to be met. Aha. It doesn't work like that. Please repeat this thing for me. That's why I like you. You are smart. <laughs> Say it again. Right. I'm saying that you cannot just decide that you are not showing tenderness and care to each other. Mm -hmm. So, for instance, physical needs are not met. Social mm -hmm. needs are not met. Psychological needs are not met. Emotional. Mental needs are not met. Emotional needs are not met. Mm -hmm. And you expect to meet sexual needs. It, it, it doesn't work like that. Mm -hmm. For sex to be excited, you mm -hmm. need to be tender-hearted towards each other mm -hmm. you need to be compassionate towards yeah. each other you need to care mm -hmm. and i'm not talking about just i mean there should be a, the, the kind of care you have for your spouse mm -hmm. should not be the same care you have for a friend yeah there should be a difference in care there mm -hmm. should be a difference in in that compassion and tenderness you have towards each other mm -hmm. before you can enjoy sex properly mm -hmm. otherwise it's not working vicky is saying black love that is very true yeah carry on yeah. Mm -hmm. Black, no, oh, Sadie, 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 Sadie okay. yeah, black, black. Yeah. So make sure that you genuinely care for each other. Mm -hmm. If you, your wife is not happy, find out why. Mm -hmm. If your husband is not happy, find out why. Yeah, if, they are, if they are going through any issue, care for them. Mm -hmm. Oh, may, Maybe your wife has come back from where she's tired. This is not the time for you to insist that you need to cook for me. Mm -hmm. I need to eat homemade food. Yeah. I need to do, you, you need to care about each other. Yeah. Care about Feel your husband. Feel for each other. Yes, be compassionate. Have a big heart for each other. Mm -hmm. Why is my husband feeling this way? Did I do anything? Did I say anything? Is my husband okay? Is there anything on his mind? Mm -hmm. How can I do 
able to lessen the burden on his mm. mind so that when he gets into bed with you, mm. he can function properly. That's and it. the opposite is also true. But if you don't care, your husband comes home, he's quiet. You don't even bother asking him, my dear, what is wrong? You don't mm. look yourself today. Mm -hmm. But you go into the bedroom and you want him to have an erection mm -hmm. and you spark the engine and the mm -hmm. engine is not sparking. You wonder why. No, mm -hmm. there's a reason why. You didn't show any care mm -hmm. before you brought him into the bedroom and expect him to perform. So what are you going to do to ensure that I can perform tonight? Tonight. Or I'm not allowed to perform tonight. No, you are not what, allowed What are you going to do to make sure that I can perform? Pastor, you are okay. <laughs> Am I performing? You are, you are performing. One twenty percent You are very much okay. <laughs> So you don't need any care or anything. Power. So, I, have to, I have to go and choose some more herbs. Which herbs? Nana, you please advise Pastor. They, they say coconut, no herb coconut root. Coconut root. Why are you going to get that? I'm going to chew that <laughs> and then they say I should go to Caribbean go and slap, slap some. <laughs> <laughs> so that it will be blessed. <laughs> oh, oh, Alright, okay. Okay. Another thing is vaginismus. Vaginismus. It's a, 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 it's a special word for when the vagina becomes uh, like locked. It's it's uh, how do I how do I explain it? How do I explain vaginismus for you to understand? Uh... Oh, coconut root and atajia. I'm told. Really? Mm. All right. Okay. Okay, okay, so vaginismus is the body's automatic reaction to the fear of some or all types of vaginal penetration. So some yeah. women become very rigid. Yeah, it's like mentally they they, they are not they, they are, are not apprehensive. Uh -huh. yeah, they are not free to open up. So the vagina becomes tight. It, yeah. It, frigid, frigid? Yeah. Yeah, so that it's, Frigidity is a bit different, but it's it's all it all in that yeah. region. So mm -hmm. there you it, when that happens, penetration is extremely difficult. Yeah, they become they become See, very very tight, yeah. like a child. Yeah. It's very, very no matter what you do, you can't go through. They they don't they don't lubricate and they don't open up. No, they become very, 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 very tight. This when penetration is attempted, your vaginal muscles tighten up yeah. on their own. It's like you are because, stopping it. Yeah, you your, lock it up in the mind. Yeah. And and this thing can happen as a result of um bad experiences. Mm -hmm. or maybe they've been they were been raped, raped before were, or sexually abused in one way or the other. Or you've heard things. Yes. They, especially if you are now going to get married. This week somebody messaged that uh she's going to get married in a few weeks and she's apprehensive, she's afraid. I have to give her a few tips as to how she can oh, go and she's enjoy. Like it. Saying, when you are tense during intimacy. Yeah. Or when you've you've had painful experiences with your spouse. Maybe you just had a quarrel and it's not been properly resolved and you want to go and have, if you are not careful, it will happen. Okay. If you've had traumatic experience, it can happen. So watch those things. It, it can happen. It, it doesn't mean there's anything really wrong with your wife. If you can take time, talk through things, allow her to calm down, bring her down, encourage her, she will open up. But if it happens, don't force yourself. Dear brothers. Abusive relationships, yeah, that that yeah. Is. When you've been in abuse, the man beats you, he slap slaps you, and then he wants to have sex with you. It's it's likely that your mind will lock the gate that no, 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 you are not coming in. Okay, <laughs> so brothers, be tender well. with your wives, love them, cherish them, lift them up, carry them on your backs, suck their breasts, kiss them, make them happy, touch them in the kitchen so that they will not catch vaginismus. Okay, <laughs> but then what I was saying is that if if you're going to do it. And you realize that thing has happened. Don't force yourself because you will injure her yeah. and possibly injure yourself as well. Mm -hmm. If vaginismus happens, pull back yeah. and take your time and have a talk. Find out why it's happened that way. Sometimes as you talk and talk and talk, the thing may release mm -hmm. and you might be able to do. If you talk and lose like that evening, no matter what you do, that is what it is. Please don't get frustrated. Don't get angry. Calm down. Go to bed. Wait for another day and try, and again. try again, okay? <laughs> but if it becomes extremely persistent, then you may have to seek help. You may have to seek help. Get, get, talk to your doctor. Talk to a psychologist. Let them see what can be done for you. Then another problem here, mommy. Maybe you take that one up. Hold on. Uh, sorry. Share, share, share. I'm trying to get one more share. Yeah, please, let's share. If you haven't shared, please share for us. 
Even if you have shared, you can share again. Share into groups. Put into watch parties. Put into various uh, places where other people can see and be blessed. Also, if you don't have our book, God's uh, Spices for Marriage by Derek and Selgilia. No, it's this one by Selgilia Agri Solomon alone. Yes, it's on Amazon. You can get a copy and then Built to Last. We wrote this one together. Built to Last by Derek and Selgilia Agri Solomon. You can get that on Amazon as well. And then the blood of Jesus, its power and how to use it. This one also is a prayer book. Okay, it will help you to know how to pray strategically over your family and your life and those those things. So you can get on Amazon. If you are not a supporter, why don't you consider becoming a supporter? Strengthen our hands. It's not much money. It's very, very little money. Very, very little. If you click, you will see. It's very, very, very little money. So please become a supporter. Click on the green button and support the work so that we can uh, be able to... Hey, what English am I saying? We'll be able to go far and do more for, for humanity and to save more marriages. Strengthen our hands to okay, do so there's more. A question. Okay? Emmanuel is saying, what if you are single before watching this program? If you are single and you are watching this program, the program is the things we are teaching are for married couples. This one is strictly for couples. So if you are single, you can listen to it. You can couples, learn, but don't go and practice it. You can learn, anybody. yeah, learn for yourself for the future. Otherwise, you can log off so that you don't go and get nightmares in the night. Okay, <laughs> all right, <laughs> okay, all right. Uh, and if you haven't shared, please share. Share the broadcast. Share the broadcast. Let's bless people. Let's reach out to more people. Let's save marriages. You saw the testimonies that came when we started. People are testifying. People's marriages are changing. People's lives are changing. People are being blessed. And it's a great thing. It's a great thing. So let's do more. Share it. Let's bless people. Share it. And also uh, support us. Strengthen our hands. Mommy, right, we were before talking I go about... On, I'll, I'll, come that, I'll come to that in a minute. But mm -hmm. Sadie is saying that she doesn't like him. Mm -hmm. But she doesn't want to tell him. Mm -hmm. Because it will make her feel he's not paying attention to her. So I responded and said that please find time and tell him. She mm -hmm. said she doesn't want to ruin it for him. So if I could just come in, say, um, I mean, sex is not just for your husband. Yeah. Sex is for both of you yeah. to enjoy. If you go into it, yes, it's good that we make our husbands happy and the husbands also make their wives happy. But you also have to think of yourself. Mm -hmm. Both of you will have to enjoy it. So if you think that by discussing that with him, you will ruin it for him. Mm -hmm. It means that you are not placing your own needs. Yeah, your, your own needs are also your important. Needs, yeah. Your own needs are also very, very important. So, woman, you are not in the marriage just to be used for sex. You are in the marriage to sex is for both of us to enjoy it. So where you are not enjoying it, please come out, be strong, talk about it, and get the necessary changes so that you can both enjoy it. Don't forget that the more you enjoy it, the better you'll be positioned to help him to enjoy it. Yeah. This is one one secret in, in, in sex and marriage, right? The more you enjoy it, the more you'll be able to help your husband to enjoy it. If you are not enjoying it, you will not be able to help him to enjoy it. So it's important that you, you do everything you can to make sure you are enjoying it so that you can also help him to enjoy it, right? So please, if you're a woman and you are not enjoying sex in your marriage, don't take it for granted. Don't keep quiet. Talk to him about it. Listen to some of these things. Find new ideas. Ideas. Read books. Increase your, 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 your ability to enjoy so that you can help him to enjoy. All right? Okay. Right, so right. another hindrance to sex is um, a weakening or a loose pelvic yeah, floor. Yeah, that's okay? your area. So. A loose pelvic floor. And some of these things happen, especially during childbirth. Mm -hmm. When as you are pushing and pushing, your pelvic floor becomes um, loose or weakened. Yeah. So it's very important that you exercise your pelvic floor. There are exercises that you can do mm -hmm. to strengthen the muscles around that place mm -hmm. so that you can enjoy sex. Yeah. I mean, the experts told us all kinds of exercises and um, one of the times that we did. Mm -hmm. But when, when you give birth, your the midwives will tell you the mm -hmm. kind of exercises. I cannot demonstrate it here. Oh, you but, can. No, so Stand can. on the table. <laughs> Wait, wait, stand but on the that, table. That is an exercise. So if there's any nurse there or all these medical people there that you can bring more of this pelvic exercise it's, it's very good you need to be able to tighten the pelvic floor a little bit yeah okay? you need to be able to so yeah. most of the time people are told that oh you need to put insert hands no, th and then the hands will tighten your vagina no but what actually brings the tightness is the pelvic floor yeah, exercises you need to, you rather it's need a muscular to thing the, the pelvic floor and not the place please 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 don't put anything there God apart did from not a good penis from your husband <laughs> god did not design. apart from your husband's penis don't put anything there okay oh Can yeah you? okay so they are telling kegel exercises yeah okay 
Yeah. So that's what you need to do. Mm -hmm. It helps with tightening your pelvic floor. Mm -hmm. And you, you need you need your pelvic floor during intimacy. Hey. You need your pelvic floor during intimacy. Can you go? <laughs> so make sure that you are taking good care of it. Mm -hmm. Do the the exercises are not any um, serious exercise to do. I mean, you can do it without anybody knowing that you are doing this pelvic floor exercise. Mm -hmm. And I'll not. I will suggest that you don't just do it after you've had, you've given birth, mm -hmm. you've had your children, but do it regularly. As I'm walking, I'll be sitting down, or standing with you and doing pelvic exercise, and you never know about it. So do it regularly. Ensure that your pelvic floor is not loose, is not weakened. But if you if you've done all these exercises and it's still weak or loose, maybe you may need to talk to um. A, a doctor about it yeah. I, that one is beyond me i don't mm -hmm. know what happens to that but the little you can do to ensure that your pelvic floor is okay is so that you can arrest your husband <laughs> have you been arrested before dear brothers that you went to the palace and then okay, you were so arrested let's believe has put it there squeeze your vagina and your anus together and hold for 10 seconds okay then you release then, then you, you release do it again then you, it's, it's not tedious it's something that you can do you, for a few minutes a day, probably mm -hmm. five minutes. Stop. It's not very tedious. I mean, mm -hmm. you can easily do it. So do that. Squeeze it a little. Release it. Squeeze it a little. Release it. Mm -hmm. So that you can strengthen your pelvic floor. Yeah. The more body. you do, you do, you do, you become stronger. Then now you can be arresting your husband. <laughs> Sometimes At you least just. I don't arrest anybody. You, hey, I've been arrested a few times. You go into and then you are arrested. Like, oh, please release let me. me let go. me go. They break it. Let me go. Okay, it's powerful, and 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 uh, 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 she's able to do some Ooh. things and, and it's like, Ooh. Like, Ooh. like some lady I know. <laughs> yeah, even during the age, she's able to arrest, release, arrest, and then it's like, <laughs> hey, and then it's like, hey, Lord, help me here. <laughs> Pastor, I think it's like, I am hot. <laughs> Lord, if you don't help me, I don't know what I'm going to do. This experience, oh, oh, some of the experience can be powerful, brothers. It can be so, dear ladies, brothers. learn learn the pelvic floor exercises. Okay, oh. learn it so that you become powerful. You'll be able to use that to arrest arrest your husband. You arrest him, then you release him. Then you arrest him again. Then you release him, and then he doesn't know what is happening. What law has he broken this time? He's been arrested and released. It's powerful. It's very, 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 very powerful. So do it, do it, do it. It's, it's good, it's good. And after having children, I mean, when your wife still feels like you're virgin, it's powerful. It's powerful. I mean, I got this one as as a virgin, and and she's, she she she's. I'm a forever virgin. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes I sometimes I ask her, are you really? <laughs> Broadcast has ended. <laughs> Are you really sure you have given birth before? <laughs> because, man, this one feels like oh, it's powerful. So, please, just try these things, okay? Try these okay, things. Okay, so, uh, Greater Glory says, somebody says, sitting on a bucket of water, also, a bucket of hot water also helps. Okay. I don't know much about Anything, that. Anything, yeah, whatever works for you, whatever mm. works for you. But yeah. whatever it is, ensure that your pelvic floor is not loose. It's a big... But if it's loose... That's why you may feel that your husband's penis and is you too small. I said that, mommy, police. <laughs> I tell you, international police. Right? Okay. Uh, if it is loose, it may make you feel like your husband's uh, penis is too small or the vagina sound that becomes like it's not controlled. It's it, it's big, but it's not really actually big. But it, it, it will be too spacious, too roomy. Okay? Now, when you do this, it helps you to tighten up and it, it's good and it's it's nice. It's very powerful. So, to, to do it, do it. Some yeah. of these comments are so funny, Pastor <laughs> Today, I'm not focusing. You've blocked me, so I don't see any comments. Okay, let me unblock you. No, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, I've got a lot of messages. I can unblock you now. It's okay. All right, okay. No, it's, it's fine. It's fine. Let's carry on. Let's carry on. It's okay. Don't do it. Okay. Right. And then another thing, maybe this is also in your area as, as a area? woman. The next one. Okay, yeah. Unpleasant orders coming from your female organ okay yeah but you uh, generally to... okay let's generalize it okay. first generally unpleasant odors mm -hmm. from the mouth yeah from the nostrils like if you are drinking alcohol you are smoking tobacco you are eating certain spices like garlic and things before you come close it will kill their sex drive <laughs> okay unpleasant odors in the bedroom inside the bed it will kill their sex drive unpleasant odors in the armpit in the groin area in the anal area it will, it will, it will kill the cell. You are fatting and you having, 
You haven't emptied your bowels all day, and we are just about to have to, and then you fat, and then the odor is not nice. It will kill the desire at once. Okay? So, please, before you, make sure you've had your bath. Put on some deodorant. Make sure you are smelling nice. Eh? Make sure you, there are no unnecessary. Don't chew garlic before you go have sex. Don't eat things that are too strong. Don't drink. Don't smoke. These things are not good to start with anyway. Okay? So, avoid those things. So that you, you yourself will be fresh. And then when it comes to the actual vaginal odors, I will let mommy talk about that because that is it, it's especially a woman speciality thing. Okay. I know that sometimes these things happen because of infection. But or, be, before, okay, you take before it, take infection, it. yeah. There's there's an odor there which is not smelling or it is not um some neutral neutral or, or a bit off neutral. Yeah, it, but it, it it should not it should not be bad or smelling yeah. okay if that happens you need to seek medical help as soon as possible because mm -hmm. it could be as a result of so many things mm -hmm. it could be as a result of infection most likely it could be an infection from within you mm -hmm. that is coming through and all that it could, it could also be um unhygienic practices yeah so please as a woman i'm not expecting that you wear a pants twice you wear it in the morning, you have your bath, and yeah, then you wear it again. Please, please, avoid those things. Mm -hmm. Panties are things you need to have a lot of them. They are, in economics, we call them needs. Mm -hmm. They are not wants. They are essential. It's important that you have it for your own health sake. Mm -hmm. You don't have to buy a, a one pant for 5000 mm -hmm. You could buy a cheaper one so that you can have more where mm -hmm. you change it frequently. And then also, regular bath. It's but the pants, even the material, it has the to be material cotton, has right? To be more of cotton. I mean, because ones silky, are, ones, silky ones, especially like, if you live in a hot place. Then silky ones are not good. I mean, if you, if maybe you want to have a very hot time with your husband and you want to wear a silky one for a short time, that's fine. But, but not for your day to day. Generally, it has to be cotton. You need to have cotton. A panties. breathable material. A, yes, a breathable material where air can go in and out. Mm -hmm. And then I was also talking about having your bath. Please have your bath regularly. And wash and there. wash yourself. All you need to wash the place is ordinary water. Uh -huh. No special ordinary soaps water, and ordinary, special chemicals. All these special things to make the place smell nice and to make the place tight and to make the... If, if really, really, really that we want the place to be tight, they will not be making all these lubricants and those things. There needs to be a certain God didn't level... design the place to be dry. No. Because there are things people put there for it to, to be, be dry. dry. Yeah, but God designed it to be wet. There's a certain level of lubrication you need at that place so that mm. the penis can sleep through. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it will not be possible to go in. Yeah. So, Avoid all these chemicals and all these weird things and all this powder and loving dye and spray and things you put there. You you be creating a lot of problems for yourself. Mm. It can give you infections and all those things. So mm. please avoid those things. Ordinary water is fine. Mm. And then when you are on your menses, you also need to take very good care of yourself. Mm -hmm. You need to make sure that you are washing properly. You are changing your part properly. You don't have to wait from morning night till evening before you. Ch no, if you are at home and you can have your bath regularly, is important that you do that mm -hmm. so some of these things are the things we could do to avoid you don't want to take your pants off and then the the, the scent knocks your husband off that's it, it. he fainted <laughs> now you need ambulance not orgasm <laughs> And then that is it. So please, it's important. Yes, we want to enjoy good sex. So and let's be practical. We need to do some of these things mm -hmm. so that we enjoy it. And 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 and, dear husband, in case you you, you smell something not not normal from your wife, mm -hmm. please speak to her in. In, in a very compassionate way, yeah. because it could just never not, insult uh, your wife that your vagina smells. Ne never, never use any odor from your wife to insult her or to demean her. Because if you had a vagina, maybe you'll never be able to manage it. The okay, vagina, so, um, the vagina is one of the most complex organs to manage. Mm -hmm. And God bless our women for how they are able to take care of it for us to be able to enjoy, enjoy it. So if for any reason there's an odor. It could be an infection. Even dehydration it can could be increase. Dehydration. Dehydration. Oh, or certain that. foods you eat. You can eat a certain food and it will affect the odor that comes from there. It, it's a complex thing. Never use it to mock your wife, to insult your wife, to make her feel bad. 
okay yeah rather support her to get help or whatever needs to be done so that it go most of the time it, it's a temporary something it comes you get if it's medicine you need if it's an infection antibiotics or whatever that is given may take it away if it's dehydration or it sometimes food, it's a change of lifestyle yeah so let's it go. or if it's any sometimes even by drinking some more water a few days it passes and then you are fine yeah. but never use it to put your wife down otherwise god will knock you <laughs> to show that you are you are not a wise man God will knock you. It shows that you are not a wise man. If you use this thing to insult your God wife, will knock you. when you yourself have yeah, never yeah. had a vagina, and you have never known how to manage a vagina before, and you are using your any problem your wife is having with her vagina to insult her, you, are, you, you. you are a foolish man. I'm, forgive my language, but you are not wise. You are not wise. All right, carry yes, on. Yes, yes. So you, take very good. And, and I was talking about men's. I mean, there were comments. I've lost the comments now. Oh, forgive so me. So comments about having it. When you have a... When you use a toilet, mm -hmm. ensure that you taking very good care of yourself. Yeah. Clean yourself properly. Yeah. Clean yourself. You I know clean that forward or backward. You clean backwards. You don't clean forward. You don't move things from the back to the front because the the the, the female um sexual organ is very sensitive. Yeah. It's very sensitive and it's prone to all kinds of infections mm -hmm. and diseases and those things. Mm -hmm. So you don't clean back to the front. You clean front to the back. Yeah. Learn all these things, so. So okay. that you don't carry anything from the back yeah, to the front. Yeah, because when you are passing uh, feces, the, the likelihood of sometimes there are all sorts of things in there is real. So if you clean from back to front, you, there, you, there's a possibility that you could pass something from the back to the vagina. And the vagina is very, very sensitive. It's one of the most sensitive organs in the body. Oh, wow. Any little thing, you can pick up an infection. So be careful how you clean yourselves. Right, yeah, say this yeah. asking what do you feel about threesome? It's a no no, it's on Christian. Um, it's... A, a marriage is supposed to be between you and your husband, not you and your husband and somebody else. So, threesome is a no no, it's 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 not God, it's it's God is not happy with it, God frowns on it, it's not on, it's not on at all. All right, okay. Then, uh, another thing that kills quality sex in their marriage, apart from unpleasant odors. Is alcohol and drug use. Satan will always tell you that, oh, if you drink alcohol, it will make you wild and you'll be able to do some wild things. It's a deception. Those of us who do it with our naked eyes, we do better than those who drink alcohol. Al alcohol clouds your judgment. Alcohol, if you are not careful and it goes beyond a certain limit, you'll not even be able to do anything at all. You will be unconscious with what you are doing. You will do things that destroy your body. You will do things that under normal circumstances you won't do. And there's a reason why God wants us to do this with our open eyes. So that we don't cross certain boundaries. So never involve alcohol or drugs. Alcohol and drugs can affect erectile functioning anyway. A lot of, when you drink alcohol to a certain level, you can't even have an erection. Drugs, they do the same thing. It affects your erectile function. That It clouds your judgment. You will put things where you don't have to put them. You will do things you don't have to do. A lot of people have had one night stands that have ruined their life because of alcohol. Please, avoid alcohol in your home. Some of you Christians, you hide alcohol in your bedroom, fridge, under your bed and things that you think, if we drink alcohol, we can do a better thing. Put it aside and drink the Holy Spirit and you will, you'll be amazed what the Holy Spirit will help you to do in your marriage. Okay? So, avoid alcohol and drugs. Avoid. The only drug you are allowed to use in your life is prescription if it's been prescribed as something good or some herbal tea or something you are drinking as well but don't take recreational drugs thinking mm. it will help you to have a powerful sex life no it Person will ruin it eventually good. sorry Emmanuel is asking is it okay to go out without panties for man or woman for fresh and also ready available nah in your house fine you can choose not to wear pants in your own house I don't know how you do me I, I can't I, I can't even sleep without pants I mean I don't know how but for some men if you can walk in your house, but going out without pants, if any emergency happens, what are you going to do? Then you have erection is showing in town like that. No, don't do that. Wear pants, wear pants when you're going out, okay? And ladies, wear pants when you're going out. Sex is supposed to be done with your wife or your husband alone. It's not that you are you are not wearing pants so that when you have any opportunity in town. That's that's demonic. It's evil. Don't don't try it. Don't try it at all. God is not happy with that. Wear pants, wear pants. But in your bedroom, when you are with your wife. You are free not to wear when you are with your husband. Please, freedom. Okay? Freedom. So alcohol and drug use can affect, they can impair the quality of sex. Another thing is poor sleeping habits. 
poor sleeping. When you don't get adequate sleep, it affects your erection. You can't have an erection. It's normal. It affects the quality of your erection. It will affect how you, 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 you perform as a man. I don't know exactly about women, but for men, it will affect you. So please get a lot of sleep. Night sleep. Get a lot of sleep. Okay? Sleep well so that it will it will help you have good sex. Lack of exercise. Lack of exercise yeah. You wanna Yeah, lack of exercise because um you, you need to be healthy to enjoy good sex. Yeah. So when you are not exercising properly or you are not exercising at all, and either mm -hmm. you become extremely big or Weak. Your muscles, your are, muscles weak. are weak. Yeah, if you don't exercise, you get weak. Yeah, you get weak, so you will not be able to perform. I mean, you not you be can't, able to. You can't hold on. You can't stand on your hands for long. For long, you can't do that. You just you cannot, fall. Yeah. And, <laughs> and there are so many things. There are so many. There are some styles, styles you can't do. There are so many styles. You can't sit your wife on your shoulder. Say, <laughs> sit here, darling. Whilst we do, you can't. There's no strength. There's no strength. Okay. So exercise. So you need to exercise. You need to exercise. <laughs> and like we said, dehydration as well. Mm -hmm. Water, we said last week, water, 70% of your body is made up of water. And mm -hmm. it's extremely important that you be. You know that there are some diseases that will not affect your body when you are properly hydrated. Yeah. 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 So you need to take note of that as well. Make sure you are drinking enough water. Mm -hmm. Some people cannot drink water. It's not an excuse. Your body Find needs ways. water. Find, Find ways. ways of. If you cannot drink a whole. I mean, a whole bottle at a time. You can be sipping it every mm -hmm. now and then, sipping it mm -hmm. in bits, so mm -hmm. that make sure that you are properly hydrated. Yeah, drink a lot of water. You can make smoothies and drink. You can make lemon water. Lemon water is very, very good. If you struggle drinking normal water, squeeze lemon into it. It becomes lemonade, and then you drink it. It's nice. Uh, they have some they do with the cucumber and other things. Drink herbal teas and things. It will help you. But be hydrated. Drink a lot of water. It helps. Poor diet. I'm sure we may have some dietitians out here. Poor diet. If you eat the wrong kind of food, it will affect your, your ability to uh, lubricate as a woman. It will affect your ability to reach orgasm. It will affect your ability to have an erection, to have the ability to sustain erection. It will affect your ability to keep uh, 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 your ejaculation for long before you release. It affects these things. It affects your health, the kind of food you eat. Avoid the fast foods, the pizzas, the rice, the sugar, the carbohydrates. Eat more vegetables. Eat more fruits. Drink more herbal teas. Right? Eat proper meat and fish. Don't eat processed food. Don't eat processed food. Avoid processed food. Eat natural foods. Organic foods. And uh, things like that. Eat quality food. And eat at proper intervals. Don't overeat. Yeah. And don't undereat. Okay? Eat proper as your body needs it. Eat regularly when you need to eat it. But eat the right kind of food. Eat rich nutrient uh, dense food so that you will be uh helped all right <laughs> carry go ah this one that pastor Derek wants me to carry go yeah extreme sexual organ sizes mm -hmm. they can also be hindrances to sex yeah so whether it is too small or whether it is too big mm -hmm. does it go for both the man and the woman um most of the time will be the man because i know that well, correct me if I'm wrong, but I know that every vagina is designed in such a way that it's able to take any penis. Yeah, but... Unless it is extremely have, big, which is not normal. It's just one... Yeah, that, one that's exactly what we're talking about. Yeah. Most of the times, people rather talk about the men. But the women too, we have some women who may have an oversized under. Either because of accidents or maybe childbirth, childbirth. that things could not... Return properly, yeah. but or or bad experience. Some of these people who have had boyfriends who have big ex extreme stuff and they've done wild things or they've inserted things. dangerous yeah. things under themselves. They've practiced wild things, and it's affected them in one way. Mm -hmm. But when we look at percentages, it's not the women who much. may have an unreasonably larger vaginas 
will be like 0.0001% of the general women population. Mm. Okay? And it comes in the same way as well. Women who may have a very, very tight, very small, too tight a vagina that it's hard for an average man to penetrate. That one is also there. But that is also a very, very, a very tiny fraction of women. Mm. The average, generally, the average man should be able to sleep comfortably with the average woman without any struggle. Yeah. The exceptions are very few. Mm. And then the opposite is also true. We have men also who have micro penis, like this AAA, triple A battery, <laughs> micro penis, anything less than this. It's so small, it can't go anywhere. But research has found that the average woman's vagina should be able to take anything above this comfortably. You, you should be able to be satisfied. You can get a woman pregnant. You can get her to reach orgasm if your penis is this size and more. Okay? And the average man on this planet Earth has a penis bigger than this. The average man will have a penis that is bigger than this. So, what is left then is the wisdom. How you work around it. How you coordinate things so that you're able to operate properly. But under extreme circumstances where somebody has something like this, it's too small, just an, a tiny appendage that doesn't do much. Then you can seek medical help, whether they have to do an operation or whatever can be done. But obviously, when the penis is too small, it affects the quality of sex. When the penis is too big, it will affect the quality of sex. When the vagina is too small, it will affect the quality of sex. And when the vagina is too big, it will affect the quality of sex. But thankfully, I, it's even hard that there will be anybody even on this broadcast who has that problem. The, the percentage of human beings who have that problem is so tiny. So we shouldn't worry too much about that. And if you are on the broadcast and maybe accidentally you have any of this problem, get help. Get help because with medical advancement, these things are easily solved. They can do surgery, graft some skin, they take skin from your buttocks, add it here before you realize you have something that you can work with. Okay, so don't hide in secret and suffer. Don't hide in secret and suffer. Talk to doctors. Get help if your thing is either too big or too small so that you can have quality sex in your marriage. Don't sit in the darkness and suffer. All right, okay. Carry on, mommy. Ex excessive body weight, mm -hmm. okay? Excessive body weight is another hindrance to sex. Yeah. Because if whether you have to lie on your spouse or your husband, your spouse will have to lie on you, mm -hmm. can always create problems. So mm -hmm. it's important that you keep your body shape in Maintain check. Maintain it. Maintain, healthy yeah, keep it in check. Make sure that you are not going too small and you are not becoming too big. Mm -hmm. Naturally, there are people who are there are people who are naturally born big. Yeah. They are like that. Yes, we do understand that. Even in with that with those situations, they can still work on themselves a little bit yeah. and ensure that they are in in shape. Yeah. If you have to exercise, please exercise. If you have to change your diet, please do. Mm -hmm. If you have to change your lifestyle, please do whatever it is. Ensure that you are not walking about with excessive body weight because it's a put off. Yeah. I'm so, so, somebody will be thinking, oh, is he going to lie on me with this heavy? I can't breathe. I'll be suffocating and yeah. all those things. So let's check that. Let's check that. And, then, and you yourself, you can't even perform. When you are beyond a certain... Yeah, you can't go some styles. Yeah. You can't stoop. You can't lift your leg. The leg is too heavy. You can't can lift, lift it. it yeah. You can't trust in a particular way. You can't take certain positions because you are you yourself, you are heavy. And you can't enjoy yourself, okay? So if you want to really have quality sex, keep an eye on your weight. Keep a healthy weight. Keep <laughs> a healthy weight. It better be too big than too small. <laughs> <laughs> Don't... Ah, okay. <laughs> so keep your weight. Check, check. Make sure that you have a decent right, whilst weight. Whilst we're talking about the health and those, a few mm. comments have been passing by. Yeah, please let's take um, a few comments. Brush and uh, washing your ears. Yeah. Washing your ears. Oh, okay. And, That's what I heard. I saw brushing your teeth as yeah, well. Yeah, then brushing your teeth and all those things. Um, tamarind and okra. Okay, I hear that is good as well. Yeah. For the men or for health, and I've, I think I've missed some. Say this, you guys are awesome. I'm definitely going to have my husband watch you guys. Okay, that's great. Vera says I'm watching. And please subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you go on this page where we are doing the broadcast, the link to our YouTube channel is there. Or if somebody can copy it and Sister put it here for us. It there for us. Okay, 
they put a YouTube channel. We have so many, about 100 or so videos on different teachings we've done on, on, on marriage. So please, it's strictly marriage. It's also called the Marriage School on YouTube. The Marriage School with Pastor Derek and Selgelia. So if you go there, there are so many videos that you can learn from. And we started a shorter series on identifying your life partner as well. They are also there for those of you who are yet to marry. They are on that page as well. So subscribe to our YouTube channel. It will be a blessing uh, for you Mes as well. Mesa is saying we should speak tree. No, we will not speak tree. And the reason is because we are reaching out to people from different parts of the world who do not speak tree. Okay? Yeah, Mesa... Uh, 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 maybe you were not here when we started the broadcast. Every time we start our broadcast, we do an international roll call. We have people watching us from today. We have people from Kenya, Jamaica, Guyana, USA, Netherlands, Spain, Italy, Czech Republic. We get people watching us from almost every nation in the world. We they don't speak. We Chinese can't speak Chinese. International language. We can speak. I don't Chinese. even know how to speak it properly. Yeah, so we, we are being watched by people from different backgrounds. We can't speak Chi. Sorry. We will speak okay, there English. Was a, there was a question that if you marry your, if you marry and then you realize your husband was not circumcised, what do you do? Circumcision can be done at any age. If your husband was not circumcised, you can arrange, get, get a, 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 a qualified person to circumcise. You will be in pain for some days. Or let's right. say a week or two, and by that you'll be fine. Now you have a circumcised penis to play with. <laughs> Hooray! Right, right, Julie is saying she's from Zimbabwe. Mina is saying she's from Trinidad. You see, Nikki is saying she's from Uganda. Yeah, we have Zimbabwe, Uganda, mm -hmm. Trinidad. We have nations all over the world. We can't speak we can't just speak a language one local that... language from Ghana, and then other people are cut off. So yeah. I'm sorry. We speak English so that everybody can be helped. All right, thank you, Tim Zimbo. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, so, so that is that we can speak Chi. All right. Uh, and if you can write that we should speak Chi, it means you understand English. So please flow with us. Okay. Um, we've looked at excessive body weight. Okay. Pain. Pain yeah. is another thing that can affect the quality of sex. Pain. When a man is in pain, when he gets an e e e erection, sometimes due to injury in the penis, you can have pain. Italy is also here. Name Jamaica. All the nations have started. Iraq. Look, Iraq. People are watching from all nations. We can't speak to you. I'm sorry. Okay. So, sometimes maybe you, you get an erection and then there is pain. It could be because there is an infection inside the penis. Or there's been an accident, there's been an injury inside the, 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 the penis. Now, if this becomes a problem, we have Joe from Kenya. The roll call has started again. <laughs> the international roll call has started. Nigeria. Onye, oh, so many. Onye, Onye Echi is, Nigeria, is talking about Nigeria, Iraq, Iraq, Iraq Jamaica, Jamaica, Italy, Italy Cameroon, Cameroon, Italy, Italy Zimbabwe, Spain, so many countries. Indiana, USA. Yeah, USA. So we can't speak to I'm sorry. We can't speak to Okay? Okay. So, uh, uh, injury to the penis, infection in the penis can cause pain when you have an erection. Infection in the vagina, injury to the vagina can cause pain during penetration. Okay? So, when there is pain, it can affect how you enjoy sex. You can enjoy it. It becomes a burden and a pain. So, if you have pain inside your vagina or your penis, get medical help at once. Sometimes some women will get pain during penetration. We have Germany, London, the, the nations are coming quick. Right. Okay. So if you, you have pain when you penetrate, sometimes it can be fibroid. When there's fibroid inside and penetration takes place and the fibroid's position is, is hindering, it can cause pain. Okay. So get medical help at once. Anytime you feel pain during an erection, during penetration, please get help at once. Don't sleep with it. Don't joke with it. Go and get help so that it will be resolved quickly. It will be resolved quickly for you. Get medical help. All right. But that will affect, it will affect uh, the quality of the, the, the sex. Poor bedroom conditions. If it's too cold, it's too hot. Too, too uh, cluttered, the, the, the smell is not nice, or the lighting is not good. 
the bed is making noise, credit, credit, credit. You, it, all these things can affect, right? So check if that somebody as well. says it's from Kumerica. Yeah, Kumerica, <laughs> Kumerica. <laughs> Powerful. Oh, <yeah. laughs> okay. And then uh health issues, diabetes, high blood pressure, uh 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 all types. We've got Finland, we got Togo, all types of diseases can affect the quality of sex you have inside a marriage. So please, check your health. Go for regular checkups. If you want to enjoy this beautiful thing that God has given you inside a marriage, go for regular checkups so that if there is anything, it will be picked up. If you feel anything in your body, please United get Arab help. Emirates. United Arab Emirates is here. Guyana is here. We are seeing so many nations. So, so many. UK is featuring strong. Kenya. Nations everywhere, Spain, nations everywhere. So please, uh, we cannot speak just one language. We speak the language that everybody can understand. All right. So please check your health. Do regular checkups. Have doctor friends who can help you when you need help. Okay. Exercise, check your diet. And then when you go to hospital and they give you medicine, take it. Some of you, you go to hospital, they give you medicine, you don't take, and the sickness is still there. If your wife suspects that you are sick and she wants to take you to hospital, follow her. Dear men, sometimes you are too stubborn. You are too stubborn until the thing becomes serious. And you may, women as well, if you feel anything is not right in your breast, check your breast regularly. You feel any lump or anything, quickly take it to hospital. Let them confirm it is nothing. Because sometimes you can feel a lump in your breast, but it's nothing. Sometimes a muscle that's gone tight or some milk that has locked somewhere. And if your husband massages it small, it melts away. Okay. So not all lumps in breasts can be dangerous. But if you check your breast regularly, you feel anything, take it to the hospital. Let them check. Your cervix, get cervical screening. Get these things done. Check your health. Check your blood pressure. Check your sugar levels. Check these things. Your blood works. Let them do it at least once a year so that you keep on top of your health. Because it will affect the quality of sex that you have. And then financial pressures. Mm -hmm. Would you want to say something about financial that? Financial pressures. Pressures. The pressures are a big hindrance to, I mean, sexual intimacy. Especially when... if you're a woman. <laughs> women don't like it when there's a bill that has not been paid. And yeah, you want to have sex with bill has not been paid. Why Carry do you want on. to have sex? Like... Hey, if you don't pay your bill, you won't have sex. So, so financial pressures. Yeah, so on financial that. pressures. Please, 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 please. As much as it is within your power, ensure that, I mean, let's be honest here. Every couple at a point in time will go through financial pressures. It is normal. But try and ensure that it's not a regular thing that is always happening. Mm -hmm. Budget properly, work according to the budget you have. Yeah. And don't overspend. Live within your means. Live within your, your means. If there are things you cannot buy, it is not by force. You are not competing with anybody in, in the marriage. Cut your coats according to your size. If there's a particular thing you cannot afford now, wait. When you're able to afford it, get it. Yeah. Don't put unnecessary financial pressures on yourselves mm -hmm. because it will always be on your mind. And you need then you peace can have of sex. mind. Yeah. You need peace of mind to be able to have good sex. But if that peace of mind, you think, how am I going to pay for this bill? When is this? Uh, the landlord will be knocking any time. Can you imagine? You're going to have sex with your wife, and you know the landlord will be knocking any time to come and go uh, collect their rent, and you don't have the money. You can't even have an erection. So please be on top of your finances. Sorry for interrupting. Yeah, no, no, you. that's fine. That's fine. And um, so ensure that you're on top of your finances. Don't dip yourselves into debt. Don't dip yourselves into. Don't borrow. Don't buy things please, on credit. Unnecessary. As much as is yeah. possible. I mean, there, there are things you need to buy on credit, like a mortgage and those. But if you have the money, go for it and just buy it without. You don't have to owe anybody. Okay, mm -hmm. there's peace of mind in not owing anybody. The Bible says that owe nobody anything except Apart from love. love. Yeah. Except love. So wait. Ensure that you are. Living within your means, mm -hmm. don't overspend, don't go borrowing unnecessarily. Go, don't go competing with somebody. They buy a car, you also have to buy a car. Mm -hmm. They buy this, you also have to buy that, mm -hmm. so that you have the peace of when you sleep, you can sleep in peace, mm -hmm. knowing that there will not be anybody behind you or coming after you to, to, to force you to pay some money or to demand their money from you. Mm -hmm. That will give you peace of mind, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. So, keep on top of your finances and work hard. Work hard, especially my men. Work hard and well. It doesn't have to be the topmost job. If you can upgrade yourself, get qualifications, get a higher job, do it. But whatever job you find yourself doing, work hard. 
If you have to find a little more something so that there will be enough money coming in to take care of their family, okay? So work hard, make sure that there is enough finances in the house. Don't waste money. But the opposite is also true, which also affects the quality of sex. Don't overwork. Don't work hard, but don't overwork. Excessive work, fatigue is ruining sex in many homes. Many, many, many homes. I dealt with that issue recently like that. Many, many homes. The man is always working. He comes home, he's tired. He can't have sex. And he needs to wake up early to go again. And then you, it continues like that. And then you are surprised when you come home and somebody else is sleeping with your wife. Then you are surprised. It's not her fault. It is not her fault. So please, men, don't overwork to an extent where you are denying your wife her conjugal rights. Don't overwork. Work hard. But work smart. Work hard, but work smart. Work and make time also. Leave room for your wife. Leave room for your family. So that you can have quality time to be rested, to have good sex with your wife. I, I've dealt with an issue. The man was working, working, working. The wife kept complaining. He thought, oh, it's nothing. Kept working. One day he came home unannounced. There was a man in, inside the bedroom with his wife. And I was thinking of divorcing her. I said, you can't divorce her. It's not her fault. You made her do it because of overwork. So please, don't overwork so that you can make time to have quality sex in your homes. And please, if your husband is overworking, I'm not telling you by this to go and cheat. If you cheat, you go to hell. It's between you and God. I'm not the one who told you to go and cheat. I'm not telling you to go and cheat. But don't overwork. When you get too tired, you can have an erection. When you get too tired, you can't focus, you can't concentrate. When you're a woman, when you get too tired, you can never reach orgasm. Is orgasm sweet? Very. It's really? really? Powerful. Hey. It's Charlie, stop. <laughs> so, I hear it's very, very sweet. It's divine. So, orgasm mm -hmm. and ejaculation, which one is sweeter? Orgasm. Are you sure? Sure. Well, I've never ejaculated, so I don't know. Ah, you have to try it one day. <laughs> it's powerful. Right, so, don't overwork. Whether you're a lady or you're a man. Some of you ladies do overwork. You go out, you go and work, you come home, you want to do every, you want to finish every work in the house. Please, do what you can and leave the rest and have time for your body. Have time for your body. Work will be there after you are dead and gone. Don't overwork, my ladies. There will still be work. And dear husbands, help your wives in the house so that they are not overburdened. So that they can also enjoy, they can also reach orgasm. I hear it's sweet. Okay, so help your your wife around the house so she can also have time to be because if you are tired, are you able to reach easily when you are tired? No, you are not able to reach at all, not even easily. You are not able to get when you are too. tired. Yeah, because when you are tired, you, you you need to be able to focus to have sex. Yeah, you, know that? you need focus. You need peace of mind. Mm. You need to be well rested mm. so that you can be in the mood and enjoy it. Mm. But if you are tired, you can't. If you are right. overworking yourself. Okay, you so can't. please don't overwork. Don't overwork yourself at all. Another thing that kills sex, the quality of sex, is stress. Maybe stress from work, stress from church, stress from... That's why you shouldn't be fighting anybody in church, okay? Stress in the society, maybe in the community. You are fighting with your neighbor. You have issues with your family. You have issues, financial issues. You are afraid something is about to happen. Stress. Stress can destroy the quality of sex. So live a stress-free life. Have time for relaxation. Have time for exercise. Don't in involve yourself in issues that are too high for you. Don't go and create com com complicated issues for yourself. <laughs> live a simple life so that you will not be stressed. Because stress can affect the quality of your sex. Avoid stress. Another thing that affects the quality of sex, mommy. your background, your background, your upbringing, your previous experiences. Mm -hmm. If you were brought up in a house where you were abused sexually, or you 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 were yeah you were abused sexually, or you had some unpleasant sexual experiences, mm -hmm. that's going to be a hindrance to your sexual um, experience because mm -hmm. you may not enjoy. Every time your husband or your wife wants to have sex with you, mm -hmm. you you remember those things. You remember your experiences, and it just hinders you. Yeah, it stops you from giving your all to be able to enjoy it. Mm -hmm. And also previous experiences. Maybe you were in a relationship where you were sexually abused. You mm -hmm. were raped, raped. 
you were whatever you you were not treated properly in terms yeah. of sex mm -hmm. and that will also be a big hindrance to you so the background is very important now let me say this that if you marry somebody with such a background with such um a, 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 traumatic, bad, a traumatic background a bad experience or, or something i bring it sometimes okay you finish that Okay, let me talk about the experience. Talk mm, about the upbringing, mm, mm. a bad experience in a relationship, or if maybe they may not be even be in a relationship, but mm. then they were taken advantage of. They were abused by fathers, mothers, uncles, whatnot, sexually. House helps. House helps and all those things. You need to be a little patient. You need to understand that it will affect their sex drive. Mm -hmm. It will be a big hindrance to them. And if you genuinely love them, you need to take your time to help them out of those experiences. Yeah. And at that point, it will not be you screaming at them, you getting angry at them, or you know, you, you need to understand that. Yeah, it's not that that is what that is what they, they choose to do, mm -hmm. but that is what they found them find themselves in. Mm -hmm. and they will need your love and your support to be able to come out of those things mm -hmm. you want to talk about the upbringing yeah sometimes religious upbringing sorry we have some people that uh, when we are being brought up religiously various religions even some Christian sects and upbringings we paint sex to be so evil that some people do we don't tell them the difference that the evilness of sex is when it is practiced practiced outside, outside of marriage. marriage. But that God actually wants us to practice it inside a marriage. So some people see sex as evil right from start. And when they enter marriage, they still think it is evil. You touch her breast, you ask, it's bad. A woman, she wants the man to do this. But hey, I can't say it. If I say it, I have sinned. If I say it, I'm being, I'm being carnal. I'm being worldly. And being sensual and that kind of mindset holds them bound and they are not able to enjoy proper sex inside their marriages so you have to unlearn the things you were taught the religious teachings that told you that sex is just horrible everything about sex is horrible being romantic is horrible being sexy is horrible it, it will take you to hell and they didn't explain to you that if you do it outside of your marriage is where it is evil but if you do it in your marriage god claps for it then you have a problem so unlearn those things and then learn this new one that god wants you to be a very sexually active person in your marriage Okay, husbands, wives, be romantic, be exciting, be uh, 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 um, be uh, 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 um, uh, there's a word I'm looking adventurous inside your marriage. Be adventurous. Don't just be so one way, thinking you are being spiritual. It will not take you to heaven. There's no way sexual positions, for example, is not mentioned anywhere in the Bible. The Bible doesn't recommend that you only have to sleep on top of your wife, then you will have had sex. That's the only sex that will take you to heaven. Missionary position is not in the Bible. Doggy style is not in the Bible. God it has not said if you do that, you are going to hell. Woman on top is not in the Bible. When you do that, it will not take you to I've heard people, some religious people, talking all this. Like, if the woman comes on top, you will go to hell. If you have sex with your wife while she's bending from behind, you will go to hell. All this nonsense is nowhere in the Bible. It's nowhere in the Bible. And some of you, you've allowed this things to hold your mind. So much that you are doing sex only one way. There's no excitement. There's nothing uh, interesting in the marriage. And you are not enjoying it. It's become boring. And God is rather sad for you. Okay? So please, break free from some of those extreme religious teachings. And know that so far as you are doing it inside your home or wherever with your wife or with your husband, God is not angry with you. God is happy with you. So explore. Do wonderful things. Do exciting things. Talk about it. It doesn't make you a sinner. Talk about it. Be very, very romantically active and it will help you a lot. It will help you a lot. Another thing that affects the quality of sex inside of marriage is abuse. Yeah. Abuse. Let's cut off from here. Abuse. If you are abusing your wife, if you are abusing your husband, you can never have good sex. You can never have quality sex. If you are slapping your wife, slapping your husband, kicking each other, insulting each other, putting each other down, mocking each other, it will not work. So please, avoid abuse. Ab abuse from past relationships, abuse as children, abuse in the present marriages, it will affect your, ma your sex life in a very te uh, terrible way. So please, don't abuse each other. 
Another thing is external pressures from work. Where you have pressure to meet deadlines. When your boss is not treating you well, your colleagues are not treating you well, you always have to drive through traffic to work and back. It will affect the quality of your sex life. So external pressures. Pressure from work. Pressure from extended family. They say come and build a house by all means. <laughs> when your sisters are insulting your wife, it will affect the quality of sex you have. Dear husbands, defend your wives in the face of your sisters and your, mm. your mothers and your cousins. Never allow your family members to abuse your wife. Never. Then you are not a man. A real man protects his wife from his family. A real wife does not open up his wife for people to abuse her. So protect your wife. Shield your wife. Warn your sisters. Warn your parents. <laughs> Nobody should be able to talk anything wrong to your wife. Protect your wife so that you can have good sex with her. Okay? External pressure from extended family. Issues with children. Maybe a child is sick. In the You can't have good sex when your child is sick. No. So issues or a child is having an, a problem in school. You've had a report. It will affect you. Your child is having issue, especially with police. That one is bad. I pray none of you go through anything like that. But external pressure so check them and pray more prayer will help you overcome some of these things and those that you can physically eliminate eliminate them from your life don't entertain unnecessary pressure in your life life is short life is we are not going to be here forever so make sure that you are living it well any unnecessary thing that will ruin your life take it out take it out so you can have very very good time another thing that affects the quality of sex in marriage right is mental issues depression anxiety issues uh panic attacks and 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 uh, compulsive obsessive disorders of all types or is it obsessive compulsive disorder or whatever of all type mental problems can affect it can affect the quality of sex so please if you are having a mental issue you are getting depressed you are getting too tense you, you, you are getting gloomy please get help at once Talk to a doctor. Go to your hospital. Talk to a psychologist. Get help or psychiatrist. Get help before it ruins your life and ruins the marriage completely. Mental health. Make sure your, your, your mind is sound. Make sure that your mind is very, very sound so that you can have good, good sex. Okay? And then uh, finally for... Uh, 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 not finally. Last but one. Offenses. Hurts. Bitterness unforgiveness cut them out don't keep offenses don't keep hurts don't keep bitterness in your heart let those things go because when you're offended you can't have quality sex and finally spiritual attacks spiritual attacks can come into your family which can affect the quality of sex you have spiritual attacks where you start fighting with your husband you don't even know why you are fighting but you are fighting you're fighting with your wife all of a sudden, your wife looks like some demon to you. Your husband looks like something to you. Demons are real. So guard your marriage with prayer. Protect your marriage with prayer. Fast a lot. Pray a lot. Cover your marriage in prayer so that you can enjoy peace and enjoy good quality sex. I don't know if you want to add anything to it and we'll finish. No, I think... Um... We've said all that. So if in case you are having any of these issues, please, please check it. Try and work on it. See how best you can overcome them so that you can enjoy sex. This, um, I know somebody was asking about the YouTube. This broadcast will be on YouTube as well. Yeah. So that you can take your time and go through it and maybe without the comments and all those things and make, go through it and see how best you can work on your sex life. Very true. If you want to join the WhatsApp group, the number is pinned on there. If you message us on that number with your WhatsApp number and your name and ask to be added, you will be added. Right. I've seen a lot of comments or a lot of WhatsApp messages that we need to, you want to be added to the WhatsApp messages. It, it takes a long time to add your number and then add you to the group as well. So I've seen the messages. We will endeavor to do it as soon as possible. Okay. Um. Somebody asked for... If I saw it clearly. As for what? Uh, oh, maybe I didn't see it clearly. Okay, but you don't have any idea? No. All right, okay. Okay, all right. Okay, so, YouTube channel. What's your YouTube channel? The YouTube channel is Pastors Derek, no, the Marriage School. 
with Pastors Derek and Selgelia. All right, the marriage school with Pastor Derek and Selgelia. The link is on this page, on the home page. You see, when it says web address, it is our YouTube channel that's on the web address. If you click on it, it will take you straight to the YouTube channel. Or if somebody knows it, you can put it here for us as well. Okay. So thank you so much for spending your afternoon with us. Don't go yet. We are not done. Please support the channel by clicking on the green button. Support us. Share the broadcast. If you haven't shared this one, please share it for us to be a blessing. Put it into a watch party. Don't forget to get your books on Amazon. Built to Last by Derek and Selgelia Grace Solomon. God's Spices for Marriage by Selgelia Grace Solomon. The Blood of Jesus Spiritual Warfare Book by Derek Agri Solomon. They are all on Amazon. Get them. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Support this channel. Like this page. Follow this page as well. So that you get notification when we come on. So that you get to know. And next week we'll be looking at the boundaries. The boundaries that we shouldn't cross. We'll be looking at all those things. Alright. And I think that'll be the final part of the this. And then they will be finished. That'll be part seven, right? That will be done. <laughs> Be okay. The perfect number. Yeah, the perfect number. All right. So please, uh, if you have any questions, don't forget to message us, and we'll be more than happy to help if we are able to. The questions come a lot worldwide, so uh, if we are slow in responding, be patient with us, and pray for us. Keep us in your prayers because this work is tough. To so pray for us as well. Pray for us, and uh, we are very, very grateful for your love and for your care and all the messages we get. Now we are going to pray with you, and then we'll finish. If you don't know Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior, you are not a born again Christian. Maybe you just came on this thing. This is a good opportunity for you to give your life to Jesus so that you can enjoy life both here on earth and most importantly, make it to heaven because your soul also matters. Don't leave your soul to chance. Nobody goes to heaven without being saved through Jesus Christ. So make sure that you sort that out so that anytime you leave this earth, you will not be in shock. But heaven will be your home. So God bless you. God bless you so much. And that we're going to pray with you. Mommy, are you able to start praying with us? And then um, as the Spirit leads you, people, anything the Spirit leads you to pray for our brothers and sisters out there before we go, just go ahead and do. Let's pray. Right, let's pray. But I mean, before we pray, once again, we want to say a big thank you. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. And a special thanks to our supporters. We appreciate you. Yeah. A few of you have, like um, Pastor Derek said, Please click on the green button. We we can't do more without your support. Okay, so we want to do more. We want to, people are asking about our um cardigans, cardigans, and our polo shirts and all that. We would like some of you to have some some of those things, but we need to be supported. So please do so for us, and then God will bless you. Mm -hmm. Shall we pray? Yeah. Dear Lord, we want to thank you once again for mm. another opportunity to sit under your feet and learn. Mm. Yes, we want Lord. to thank you for what you have taught us today, Lord. I know that most of us do not believe that sex is something that you created yeah. and you expect us to enjoy it mm. in our marriages. Mm. But we thank you for this knowledge. And Lord, yeah. I want to pray for every couple connected to this broadcast who do not of enjoy Jesus. their sex life the because of, of one reason or the other, yes, because Lord. of bad experiences, yes, because of uh, whatever it may be, mm. Lord, in the name of Jesus. Jesus, we pray that there will be a turnaround. Lord, Jesus. whatever is hindering them yes, from Lord. having an exciting sex life mm. as you intended mm. it to be, mm. in the name of the Jesus, name of we Jesus. pray, yes, let their eyes be open. If it is their the own fault, Jesus. their own character, their own yeah, lifestyle, whatever, yeah, open yeah, their yeah, eyes and yes, help Lord. them to change. Yes, if it is an external influence, in the mm. name of Jesus, let the blood of Jesus, Jesus yes, speak Lord. for them, in the yes, name Lord. of Jesus. Name of and Lord, we pray that people, every couple connected to this broadcast, will be in the position to enjoy their marriage mm. is the way you intended mm. it to be mm. and in the name of jesus we pray mm. for those even trusting you to mm. get married as mm. well anybody on this broadcast who wants to get married yeah. father we pray for them in the name mm. of jesus mm. we pray for marital favor for them yes. we pray for the for the ladies that they'll be found mm. we pray for the men that you open their eyes to find the ladies yeah. in the name of jesus for mm. some of them it may be something that they need it may mm. be a financial breakthrough a job whatever mm. whatever is stopping them Lord, from taking that bold step in the name, in the of, name jesus, of jesus we pray that you come through for them mm. in the name of jesus 
make a way for your children, yeah. Lord. And we pray, we cover children connected yes, to this broadcast into yes, your hands. Lord. That, Lord, these children will be brought up in, in peaceful homes, in loving homes, in, in the, the name, name of Jesus. Jesus. Yes, Lord, Lord, we pray for any child who is going through some kind of abuse, some mm. kind of depression, whatever, mm. because of the, the kind of home he or she finds themselves mm. in. In the mm. name of Jesus, Lord, we pray that you send your angels to make way for them. The Help them, Jesus. Lord. Stand with your children. Support your mm. children. Provide for mm. those who need to be provided for. In the name of Jesus. The Lord, I want to pray for any couple trust you for the fruits of the womb. In the name of Jesus. Lord, that you come through for them. Let there be a miracle. Let there be a miracle. In the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray for any husband who is not well. I pray for any wife who is not well. In the name of Jesus. Divine healing. Divine healing. Miracles. In the name of Jesus. The husband who wants a job. God, so that he can take off his family. We pray for open doors for them. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we pray for that. Let your, your children's needs be met. That the couple who is fighting that spiritual battle, in the name of Jesus, Lord, arise on their behalf. In the name of Jesus, oh God, we pray that there will be breakthroughs, there will be healings, Lord. There will be miracles, there will be answered prayers. And Lord, if there's, if there's anything, any couple, any wife, any husband is calling upon you that we have not mentioned it, Lord, we pray that you answer them as well. In the name of Jesus, we give you praise, we give you glory. We pray and cover every family connected to this broadcast in the blood of Jesus. That Lord, they'll be protected from this virus. They'll be protected from accidents, from emergencies, from every work, every plan of the enemy, from death of God. In the name of Jesus, Lord, let your grace be abundant on your children. Let your presence be with your children, God. We give you all the glory, we give you all the praise. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 God bless you. God bless you. We thank you so much. God bless you for spending your afternoon with us. We pray that you've learned something. We pray that it will be a blessing to you. Please share the broadcast before you go. Put it into watch parties. Tag people. Let it bless people. Let's change lives. Let's change marriages. And so we come your way again next week. Keep loving your husbands. Keep loving your wives. Keep having a lot of quality sex. Bring the report next week. Have very, very exciting <laughs> sex. Bring the report next week. Make sure you go to church tomorrow. Stand with your husbands. Stand with, uh, stand with your pastors. Stand with your church. Serve in church. Be a good Christian in your church. And God will bless you. Okay? okay. Have a wonderful, wonderful week till we come your way. Well Christi okay. Christiana is saying that, that we should leave people to salvation if they we do that. I did that. I did that today before yeah. we started praying. I asked people to give their life to Jesus. I did that. Okay. Yeah, we always all right, that. okay. All right, okay. So so God bless you. For those of you who gave your life to Christ, you can just message me and then if there's any help I can give you, find a good church, any resources I can give you. I'm more than happy to help. So God bless you so much. Have a wonderful, wonderful week until we come your way again. We love you. We appreciate you and we know you love us too. Have a wonderful time. Go and love your wife. Love your husband. Have a wonderful time mm -hmm. and we'll see you next week. Have a beautiful, beautiful time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you.